am calling this meeting back to order of the Sacramento City Unified School District. Um, do we have any announcements taken in closed session? Good evening, President Pritchett. There are no announcements. Okay, and so before we get to our board governance workshop, we have two public comments. Yes, our first speaker is Mo Kashmiri. Mo, you are muted. Mo, you are still muted. Can you please unmute yourself? Ms. Moretti, do we have our next speaker and we can get back to Mo? Okay, our next speaker is Terrence Gladney. Good evening, Terrence. You are on mute as well. Terrence, are you there? Okay. Did we, maybe they walked away um, or we're having issues. One of the two. Um, can we maybe get back to Mo to see if he is on now? Mo, are you there? You are muted. Okay, all right. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I'm not sure what is going on. We're going to move on to our governance section. Welcome, Terry B. Hill. Hello, hello. Um, so thank you, Board of Trustees, for having me back in your beautiful school district. I'm excited to work with you guys. Um, what we're gonna do this evening is just hit the high points. I made a draft of a governance handbook. We're gonna go over this together very quickly, and then I'll send the handbook back to you, and you can do your edits and make sure that I captured the content correctly for you and then you adopt it in an open board meeting. So um, we'll get started. Um, does everyone have their copy of the draft? Okay, all right. Good evening, Superintendent. Nice to see you. Okay, here we go. All right, so page one um, draft, this is when I created it, 810. Um, it has a list of the Board of Trustees, um, really, why do we make a handbook? It's to one for um, it's a good way to onboard new trustees to your team, and also it's an agreement of the way you guys do business. So it's a good way to hold each other accountable. Um, the the handbook reflects the governance teamwork on creation of a framework for effective governance. This involves ongoing discussions about unity of purpose roles, norms, and coming to agreement on protocols for formal structures that enable the governance team to continue to perform its responsibilities in a way that best benefits all children. Um, going to page two, um, I got your uh, vision. Um, so the SCUSD core value, equity, access, and social justice guiding principle and theory of change. Um, I, I really like the, I like all of it actually, but the first one is very impactful. Um, we recognize that our system is inequitable by design and we vigilantly work to confront and interrupt inequities that exist to 
level the playing field and provide opportunities for everyone to learn, grow, and reach their greatness. Um, and then the statement underneath is equity, access, and social justice guiding principles. All students are given an equal opportunity to graduate with the greatest number of post-secondary choices from the widest array of options. And then we have the theory of change, the integration of the LCAP, SPSA, and budget is critical to implement the equity, access, and social justice guiding principles. Very good. Going to page three, um, what does SCUSD stand for? And here's a list of the core beliefs. I'm going to give you guys a second just to browse those and see if there's anything that you would like to edit on that page. I'll read them while you're going over them. Um, Trustee Mikowski? Or Mar Morosky. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, <laughs> I don't have my glasses on again. Remember, you guys, I can't see if I do. <laughs> Terry, it's the very first time that's ever happened. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. It's okay. Um, I just wanted to clarify or understand where these come from. Mm -hmm. Are these pulled out of our board policies? Or yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. So I'll read them really quick while you guys look through them. Um, our core beliefs, we believe that all students will learn at high levels when instruction meets their needs. We believe that all people are inspired by high standards and challenging goals. We believe that all people thrive in a setting that respects their individual contributions and diversity of perspectives they bring to achieving common goals. We believe that all people give their best in a culture that promotes trust and encourages risk-taking and celebrate success. We believe, we believe that, that all people excel in an environment, environment that is safe and offers everyone unlimited opportunities for continuous growth, growth and personal success. We believe, we believe that, that all people value open, honest, honest and timely communication and collaboration. We believe, we believe all people want to be held accountable and rewarded for their contribution to the attainment of common goals. We believe that the social, economic, and cultural diversity of our community is a source of strength for our school system, and this is the policy from Sacramento City Unified School District. Any changes or edits or? Um, Member Garcia, and before we move on to the second page of this, Terry, we have our public comments. Back, so, okay, go, but go ahead, Member Garcia. Do you wanna get the public comment first? Okay, sorry, we'll get the public comment. Mo Cash Mary. Okay, okay go, go ahead, Mo. Go ahead and unmute um, yourself. No, no. All right, can we try Terrence Gladney? Terrence, Terrence if, you if you can hear us, please unmute, unmute yourself. yourself. Still, Still nothing. nothing. They can, they can hear. hear. Okay. okay. Terrence, Terrence, are you there? there? Would you like, Would you like to, to unmute, unmute yourself? yourself? We, we, we'll, we'll continue, continue moving on. on. Sorry. Sorry for the delay. Go ahead. Member Garcia. We'll keep trying. Um, so words, I think it's the, we believe that all people want to be held accountable and rewarded. I think we should put in there, like we believe that all people should be held accountable. Um, I, I just think it maybe elevates. Oh, oh. Um, it elevates the, um, I, don't know. I don't know, the accountability piece. Um, so, so we believe that all people should be held accountable and rewarded for their contribution to the attainment of common goals. And then um, the following one on the um, diversity, I think we can um, expand the categories, I guess, um, social, economic, cultural, maybe gender diversity. Just I think, I think to, be to be more inclusive, we can add others. I just, I just, I just thought that it, it, it seemed a little, a little limited, limited, and then, and then we've recently, recently passed resolutions that are a lot more inclusive. 
Um, so I just wanted to make sure that it reflected some of our more recent actions, but I, you know, you know welcome comments, comments from my colleagues um, to, see to see how we can further strengthen those um, that language. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Member, Member Phillips. Um, I do agree with the Hit the button, Grace. I do like the, the, the uh, part, about part about beefing up the, the, the social, social economic, economic, cultural, yada, yada. yada. But, but I, I do, do think that, that all people, all people want, want to be held accountable. accountable. I, think I think it should put us in a position as to where we might be forcing people to be held accountable. I think, I think it's, 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 it falls, it falls into that situation where kids need structure or they want structure, they may not, they may not, know, not know it, it. It's and it's harder to enforce, enforce when you push, push the should on them. them. That's just me. Everybody if everybody else agrees on the should, fine. fine. But, but um, I, I, think I think that, that want is, is, is there because that's, 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 that's the drive of the people. They want, they want to, to be held accountable, accountable. but, they, but they, if, if you say they, say they should be held accountable, accountable it's, a, it's a, a, I don't know, it just, I don't know, just sounds a bit more oppressive to me. Yeah. 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 How about, How about will, will be, be held, held accountable? accountable. <laughs> mm. That sounds even worse. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, like I said, it's, it's we're, we're, we're talking, talking about, about this, this in a very, very positive, positive light. light. All of this is extremely positive. We believe, we believe people are inspired. inspired. We believe that people thrive. thrive. So, so we just want to make sure that we keep it on that that, that level. level. So, but, but um, in, terms in terms of beefing, beefing up the social, economic, and cultural, and cultural diversity of our community, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, don't I don't have much to say about that. that. Because, because I, I, I'm not 100% sure that these, that these particular items are a strength, strength in our school system because some of that stuff is actually bringing us down, down too. So, so, you know, you know there are higher level issues that this, that this kind, kind of skirts, skirts around. But, but um, I, get I get it. it. This, is, this is supposed to be happy. So, yeah. So, yeah. The only you thing have I recommended language. language. Um, not 100% because, because if I think about it, I would, I would I would I would make it as simple as possible, as possible. Like, like we believe that, that you know you know the humanity of our community even, even specifically we just believe that, that our community is a source of strength for our school system or our community so, so I mean I mean does that make it bigger and more inclusive by saying our communities or do we need to add the actual community names so to speak that's that's my my thought I would, I would take all that out. So social, economic, economic cultural, cultural diversity, because then we'll be asked to explain what diversity is, is and whether we understand what that is. We're working, we're working on that. Member, Member Rhodes. Thank, thank you. Um, um, as, as Member uh, Phillips, Phillips was saying, uh, one, of the, one, of, one of the things I think when, when I, would, I wouldn't I would want to necessarily uh, take, take out individual groups. groups. I, do I do understand the general going on and making sure that when we say, say that we, we, uh, uh, we, we, we feel, we believe that this is an asset to our community and opposed to what actually happens in the community to where sometimes it's viewed as we don't actually appreciate those things in, in, our, in our school district. But going back to our, our core, core value. I think, I think that our core value, value is, 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 the is the reason why our core, our core value is not in our core beliefs. beliefs. So the core value of we recognize that our system is inequitable by design and we originally work to confront and interrupt inequities that exist, um, that exist to level the playing field. Um, should, should, should that not be in our, our we also, also believe this, this or is that just like our value? And is it because we stated it as our core value that it's not in our, our, our I guess, our beliefs? Now, now this is my question of like, is that, is that, is that why that that's not there? Because it's already touched on um, as the core of what we do as a district or what we believe as a district. Go, go, go ahead, no, no, Member yeah. Phillips. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah. 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 This, this can be open dialogue. dialogue. Okay. As, long as, as long as we're not talking over, over each other, then I'll put a, put a stop. I'll be nice. Um, I, I understand, understand what you're saying, saying on that. that. So, so if, if 
I would, I would read this differently, different, though, um, because, um, because maybe, the maybe the reason we're not including it in our beliefs is because the core value is not strong enough in ways, in ways that we recognize the system. Do we, do we recognize it as inequitable, inequitable or, do or do we recognize, recognize it as the systemic, the systemic type, type of issues that have brought this district, district or districts, districts like, like this or many districts or education in general in America, in America to be to be, to be inequitable? Right. So, so I, I, I'm that kind of person who wants to call a, a spade a spade. And if, and if we talk, talk about inequitable, we want to think, think about why or what, what causes that inequitability, if that's, that's the word, word inequity. inequity. Maybe, I'll Maybe I'll get in trouble for saying it. I doubt, I doubt it. It, 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 really it really is real. Is real. We're, we're talking about systemic racism. racism. We're, talking we're talking about how that is built into the schools and the, the districts and how... And how we are, we are working, working uh, to, to, to combat that, that but we have, we have to, to call, call it what it is first before we start working on it. On it. So, so, you know, you know it's, it's, it's flowery language, language. inequitable is a beautiful word, but, but you, know, you know, if we, if we really truly believe that our system is set up a certain way, way we need to talk about that like it really is. So, so would, we, would we be the first school district ever to mention that our, our system is based in systemic racism? I hope not. But, but I would, I would like to be very clear about how I, how I feel about that. And, and, and I hope that other folks kind of agree. I think, I think that um, it, it's very true. Uh, yes, yes not, the mic's on. Um, I think that it's very true that um, our system, the system that we uh, actually operate in, uh, you know, sometimes I said before where uh, education and inequity uh, share the same surname. For instance, so, so in, in a lot of in a lot of cases, um, when we talk about racial justice and social justice work uh, inside of what we do as a district, um, I, I would believe that that, that statement here as a, our core value is touching on that, right? And then our core beliefs. Um, when, when we try to, to, when we try to go into the diversity, uh, uh, social economic and cultural, cultural diversity, diversity is trying, trying to call that out. That out. Um, but what I, what I, what my, my question is, is how do we, how are we connecting those two things, things um, in this, in this document? And that's, that's what I was guessing I was trying to ask. And, and Terry, Terry, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, like the core value or the, our, our vision and the core, the core beliefs are, are would, be would be like, like a whole nother meeting, meeting right to go through, through, through and not if, part if, of if this correct to, yeah yeah if, if we, we wanted, wanted to change, change the language, language deeply, deeply yeah, yeah it probably it would be an entire but, workshop but if, if you know you know you just, just wanted to change a few words now, now i could I definitely do that, do that. And, and again the, i'm going to um edit the content we're going to edit the content this evening and i'll send it back to you and you're still able to make edits after that, before, before you adopt, adopt it at a regular board meeting. Uh, uh, this is great dialogue, by the way. This is FY. Um, um, I, and yeah, we can I definitely, like too. We can definitely uh, go through the pack. And I know that we're going to have opportunity to write our notes and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think that it is uh, important um, as we as we dig deep and we go into our governance journey um, that we have this, this space currently to, to have this dialogue that we usually don't have. Um, and to be able to have it openly around these things would be great. So if we could come back and actually dive into this a little bit deeper, that would be great. For the time that we have today, Let's, let's go through this and then write our notes and come back. Um, but I look forward to um, like, like having a deeper conversation around these things. Okay. okay. Do, you Do you want to take agree with that? that? Yeah. We recognize that our system is steeped in systemic racism by, and then I guess we could say by design or is steeped by design. We recognize that our system is by design steeped in systemic racism. Oh gosh. Okay. We're talking core value, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we were on the value. Sorry. No, that's okay. I think it's worth. I, I think it's worth like Member Road said coming back to that because that's. We need, we need to, to go deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's going to take um, a, a whole workshop to go over our, our values, values and beliefs. beliefs. Yeah. 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 Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. I look forward to it. I hope I'm here. here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to be on record and say I support 
support, support that, that conversation. conversation. Yeah. And then can you um, formally ask to bring, ask to bring that back to the board? Yes. 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 I'm, I'm formally asking to bring that back to the board at another meeting. Okay. okay. Thank you. Um, if, if I could just say on this, these core beliefs, I just, I, I, I want to say the first one and the last one, I, I like the, all the stuff in the middle. I, 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 could, I could scrap, scrap for the purposes, purposes of this document. document. I just, I just think, think it's a lot of things that are, are true about, you know, you know or, 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 or that some of, some of them we hope, we hope are true, or we, or we would want, want to be true. true. And, maybe and maybe they're, they're, actually maybe they're not actually 100%. percent. Um, I, I don't know if I believe that all people are inspired, inspired by high standards, standards and challenging goals. goals. Most, Most people, people are, many, many people, people are, are right? right? I mean, can we say 100% certainty that every single person is inspired by, you know, it's just, it, it, it doesn't really add a whole lot to me um, to, to make, I guess, I guess it, you know, it's, they're, they're kind of flowery statements, right? About, um, but I think the first one that says, we believe all students will learn at high levels when instruction meets their needs. We believe, we believe that, that diversity, however you want to phrase it here, is a, in, our in our community is a source of strength. I think that's important to say. And um, something, something, you know, I would say something about about, about accountability, accountability that, that we, you know, everyone, everyone in our system, system, I don't think we need to say all people, you know, everyone, everyone employed by or, or everyone, every, every adult in the Sacramento City Unified District, district system, system should, be should be accountable to the needs, the needs of students, students or, something or something like, you know, something along those lines, I think is, is, is more, more along, along the lines of what we, is real, is real to us and, and what our conversations, conversations usually are about. Do you, think, do you think we could just remove the word all from a lot of those statements? And I think we should, I, I, I honestly, we could, we could tweak, tweak them, them, but I, I just don't, don't know what they add to this particular document. document. So, so that's, 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 I just wanted to say that this is, this not, is not, I mean, the, these don't, don't seem like core beliefs, beliefs to me. These like seem like maybe, maybe beliefs, beliefs, but not core, core beliefs. beliefs. I, don't I don't know. These core, core beliefs are aspirational, aspirational right? aren't they? So we, so we would want, want everybody, everybody hopefully to subscribe to them. If, if one, one or two don't, don't subscribe, subscribe that's, that's okay. But I, but I, I think as yeah, yeah, aspirational, we want, we want to keep all, all of it in. Mm -hmm. I think, I think it's discriminatory if you're going to put all that in there. Taking, taking it out makes sense because we really should be at our core belief at the center of that talking about what we're actually offering. Our belief is what we offer to our students. So are we offering high standards and challenging goals? Maybe it falls into that category instead of we believe that these things are what applies to making super de duper uh, successful students. So. And, and, and Terry, we're, we're just just a, just for clarity for me. Um, we are. Uh, this is like a first read, right? And then, yeah. and then we're going to be able to uh, get okay. notes, send those notes in, and then have a revision about that before we approve any of this, correct? Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly, okay. exactly. Okay. And we can also. You don't have to include your core beliefs in the governance handbook. We could take that out and work at work on that at another time, if you wish to. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So, so um, we, will we will work on that. I'm going to get, get dates from you guys, guys tonight, tonight, too. too. <laughs> Let's do it. Just, Just moving forward, forward, it would be helpful to know what a core belief is. is. Like, like, what is the definition of a core belief okay. so that we can start thinking about it in that context? Okay. okay. Like, like we kind of got two, two separate, right. like, like what, 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 the what the perception of a core, core belief is. is. Okay. okay. And, and, and I, I feel like we may have different perceptions. perceptions. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So if we don't all feel strongly about it, about it yeah. and we don't what know it what it is, is then it doesn't yeah. belong. Right. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. 
Thank roles you. and responsibilities. Yes, yes. Roles, roles and responsibilities. Page four. Page four. So, so um, there, um, there are really, really five, five uh, responsibilities, responsibilities that we do as board, board trustees. trustees. One, One, we set, set the direction. direction. Two, we establish a structure. Three, Three we provide support. support. Four, Four, we ensure accountability. accountability. And, and five, we serve as, as community leaders. leaders. And, and I'm, I'm not going to read through page four and five, but that's just diving deeper in each of those five, five areas and, and defining, defining it. it. Is there, Is there any, any questions, questions or, or comments, comments on, on that? that? Okay. Okay. Um, when, I, when I was reading this, I was just, this, I was just um, trying, trying to, to maybe, maybe crystallize it for, for, for me. Like, like we said, said the direction. direction. It's, it's mm -hmm. just kind like of like out there. there. Like what direction? Right? I just felt... Is it, is it the strategic direction? direction? Is it the vision? I mean, I'm just trying to figure out like, like what, what direction means. means. Mm -hmm. and, the and the same thing, we establish the structure. Like what, I feel like, I feel like it's, it's missing context, context like, like, like all of these, provide, provide the support. We ensure, we ensure accountability. accountability. Um, just that, well, maybe it's oversight and, and accountability. And then, and then we serve as, a, as, as community leaders, liaisons, Etc. Et so, so I'm just trying, just trying to figure out, out like, like what, what the context, context is, because I, I just felt like a lot of it was just kind of leaving me halfway towards, towards like what, like what we want to say, say but, I but I don't know if it was me. just me. Did you, Did you feel that way even with the, down, down below the, the explanation, explanation of what each bullet, bullet was? was? The, the board, board of trustees. trustees. Yeah. yeah like so like the first one sets a direction, direction and, then and then it gives like, like five, five, five bullets, bullets of what, of what that, that direction is. is. And, and then, then the same thing for established as an effective and efficient, efficient structure. structure. Oh, well, those, those were a little bit more, more um, just, just clear. clear. I, I, I just felt, felt like these roles and responsibilities, responsibilities were a little too vague. It's, it's just an explanation, explanation down below. Yeah, yeah I think, I think it, it, it goes deep into the explanation. Yeah. yeah. It's like a, it's like, a, um, where it's called at the beginning of the book, you get to read where, okay, this is going to be on this page. We said directions on page five. Okay. And this down there. So it's kind of like a syllabus in a way. And then it goes deep into it. I think it goes, I mean, if we want to, we can go over each one of these. Um, but I believe that it goes into uh, each area. But, but I remember, Garcia, are you asking to uh, have, have it more spelled out, out and have it less, like, 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 like less, less pages of all of this? Should it be like a one pager or? So, so I just feel like the first part is lacking in context and maybe the second part is just, just like overcorrects. So I just, I'm trying to find a balance where it's not too wordy. It provides enough specificity, but not so much. So maybe, so maybe taking, taking out that top section and just starting, starting it with the bottom, bottom section sections because it's, because it's pretty much the same thing, thing. But, but without, without the bullets on the top. I think, I think that's, that's open for discussion. discussion. I, mean, I mean, that was just my general, general like my I'd initial be fine impression. With that. What, what other? other? I think, I think just I taking think out maybe fine. the one through five, but keeping okay. the explanation of yeah. Yeah. here's what our roles are, here's the superintendent, but just one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Perfect. Perfect. Right. So Is everyone in agreement, agreement with that? that? Um, yeah, I'm good with that. Along, along with the role trustees of trustees is to stay focused, yada, 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 because the five, five responsibilities are described, are described below. So, so I, I roles are... Uh, if I, could, if I could make a comment, comment on just the, you know, the bullets, I think they're, I think they're good. Mm -hmm. You know, I think where we could add a little more specificity to what we do is, is helpful. Like focusing on student learning. Like, like, what does that mean? You know, how do we do that? Well, like, even if, even if we said, for example, you know, requesting regular reports on student data, or I don't know, I just think it's, um, Maybe maybe, it, maybe that will make it too wordy too, but I just, I just think you know because this stuff is very uh, this stuff is very good roles and responsibilities to what is governance and what is management and administration and I think this is really foundational to understanding our role and like what this is our job basically this is our job description right here mm -hmm. these five things right 
So um, I think that the more we can really understand what those different pieces are, the more we can, you know, sink our teeth into, like, we set the direction for the community schools by assessing district needs. Like, does anyone know what that means? How do we do that? Like, um, so where we can where we can make this more real? Like, okay, generating, reviewing, and revising direction, setting documents, beliefs, vision, priorities. Okay, that makes sense. That's a you know that's a tangible thing. I just think that the things in here, to the extent we can make them more tangible and connect them with our practices. Okay. Will will help us understand, understand you know our job description better. better. And, this and this again will be public. Yeah. yeah. So, so we want to make sure that this is written in a manner so that our public can also read this and understand it. Yeah, but it's not the core. Yeah, yeah. I think the core uh, reason for this is is to have an agreement among ourselves as to what we agree. Two, but yeah, I think it should be readable. So let's make it read readable for me. Let's do it for me. Yeah, because yeah, I was gonna say, I, I mean, yes, yes, I agree with um with with that. But we also have to remember that um this is a document for us, like you said, um, and it's not a document for the public. Just like board meetings are not a public meeting, but a meeting for the board. And, and so, so you but you want your board members to be able to understand this. Absolutely. absolutely. So yes, I tell absolutely. You guys that I can't understand it, then it makes sense for us to make it so that at least one of your board members who might be at the lower echelons being able to understand all this wordiness would say, now I understand it. Start with roles and responsibilities and write the stuff in fifth grade, fifth grade English. Do you have suggested language that's... If I make my suggestions... Um, I, would I would take out, out the entire, entire roles and responsibilities section, section, all the way down to roles and responsibilities. Something, something that, that explains. Take, take out one, one through five. Not just, not just one through five, five the, the entire block, block of text. text. Because, because the superintendent is hired by the school board to provide professional expertise in the day-to-day -day management of the district. We're explaining that already. So we, so we don't necessarily need to say the superintendent assists the board, the board in carrying out its responsibilities other than the fact that we know that he's hired to do that. To do that. So, I'm so I'm just, it, yeah, it's fine. Just, 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 you know, cutting it down, it's like, mm -hmm. so just, just take, out, take, out, take out everything above the line. Everything above the line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Is, is everyone agreement. in agreement? Yeah, yeah. and I think that I, I think that this document, um, and when I, when I when I read through it and I visualized what it was for, it's not necessarily for the person, but for the position, right? Mm -hmm. So rather any, you 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 or any of us here, this document should be able to go to any trustee, uh -huh. and the trustee, the position of trustee would get a better understanding of what their role is. Yes. Right. Correct? Yes. So, or, any, or anybody I, interested in becoming a trustee. Yes. That's, that's a great <laughs> that's a, or the, or, Yeah, and all, all of the above. And so yeah. um, we, this is a, a very clear job description, as uh, Roski was saying, but um, that's, that's how I think of it. So I, I, in a lot of the stuff that we do, I, I try to take out the person and think of the position um, and say, like, what are we building for? Is this the person, the position? And, and I think that this is for the position. Um, and I just want to just, that's, that's, that's what we're doing. Are we clear on that as a group? Like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Are we? Are we? Yeah, yeah, I agree. And I also want to add to that. I think it's important that we look at this. If we're talking about a job description, if you were to apply for a job, they're not giving you every detailed bullet point of the job. It's a high level document that needs to be fluid, but it's, I think, I think it's we don't, we don't want to go down, down into, the into the weeds of all of the document. It's really important to keep it and putting it in a box. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so we're, we're all in agreement that we'll take everything out, out from, from the line, line above. above. Correct. Correct. Got it. Okay. okay. So then, so then we, we start, start with the roles and responsibilities down below. Yes. And then and then also just for clarity for me again today today the first read and when we get to write our notes and we're coming back that is correct vote on this. Okay. okay. Yes. yes. This, this is going to. This, this is part, part of our governance journey, journey of starting, of starting through, this. through this. We don't, we don't necessarily have, have to make all of these decisions today. No. We can actually send in our recommendations, our recommendations at a prior, prior date as well to, to for any changes on this document. 
that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, I, I, I want to have consensus on the changes. Yeah. So, I'd so I'd like you guys to talk, talk about it collaboratively, collaboratively together, together and, and make those decisions together. Because um, the next time we'll be adopting we'll adopt this. this. Yeah. Yes. Um, Our next meeting will be adopting it. So we're having to be clear what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. And it might be a couple meetings before we get all the content. Yeah. Okay. You know, so. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 Well, let, well me, let me just say for the record, the, you know, you know this, this is the job description. I think maybe it's uh, uh, where, where we come back, back to this is in our, our, our like, like a board self-assessment self of how are, how are we doing? doing? These, are these are the things that we're measuring against. Like, are we, are we doing, doing these things and how, and how well are we doing them? Do we have appropriate structures to be doing them all? So, so I think anyway, that, that doesn't need to be in here is what I'm saying. I think we can, we can come, come back to this, but this is something that we should come back to to measure how we're doing our job. That, that definitely needs, needs to be in the toolbox that, that we've talked, talked about, about that we don't need to build. And it, and it needs to be understandable. It needs, it needs it, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just I'm just speaking from, from the perspective of, of you know, you know, so your, your special education, education benefit, or I guess, I guess somebody, somebody who got benefit, benefit from special education services is now, now sitting on your board going, going I don't know how, how much of this I understand, understand because it's written, written like, like this. this. You know, you know what I mean? It just needs to be like, like this so that, so that we can understand, understand it. I could, I could tell you if I were looking at this, assessing, assessing district needs, needs who, who truly assesses those? Do we get, Do we get that information from the staff? staff? Is that assessment done by staff? staff? And then it comes to us. Our job, Our job is to agree, agree or not agree with the assessments made. So, so I... I we, we, we absolutely do assess it when we get our reports from the staff at every single board meeting. That is our assessment. That assessment is made by someone else. Or we, or we make, make that assessment. We, we vote on those assessments. Those are made by us. I know. But because it's not our job to assess. We are board members. We are not staff. It is not our job to do the reports of assessing. Therefore, Board of, board of Trustees sets the direction for the community schools by assessing district needs. We don't do that. We, we hear those needs and we hear those assessments. And then, and then we make decisions right. based on what we've no, heard. That's absolutely true. Mm -hmm. we don't, I also we think, don't do that. I also think that um, there's there's different forms of assessing, and so I think that um, you know how, how we interact with our community, how we hear from the community, and handle those direct assessments mm. that staff members also don't receive. Um, and so, in taking those assessments in in into thought while they give us their their, their structural assessment, right, right, that we're able to take a community assessment, and, and then we layer those things to say, say what's, what's the best um, decision moving forward for our for our community. Mm -hmm. um, the district's going to give us this is what's good for students in district, and then we go okay, and this is what we've been hearing assessing, and we layer those two things, and then we make an informed decision, a holistic decision on what's best for our general population, of our students and families and and staff members. I think that's absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think that's absolutely right. I guess, I guess that brings, that brings back me back to like, to like making, making these more, more like, like if we said assessing district needs by interacting, interacting with the community, community receiving reports from the district, district and, and putting, putting all these things together, you know, you know, what, know what I mean? That would, that would be meaningful, meaningful. When, it when it just says assessing district needs, needs to me, it falls a little flat because, because yeah, so, so maybe, maybe it would, would put us too much in a box of like these the are the only things, things that we can assess them because I would not like, like that. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want like a new board member or someone to just, just read this and say, oh, this is all I can do because it's written in black and white. So maybe like it needs to be more to me, it's more of a for example, right? Oh, it could be a for example, yeah. And it's dynamic anyway, so there will be changes to it and it won't necessarily stay this way, correct? This isn't going to be static. Things are, things are going to change, change. Just, like just like we're sitting here now having a conversation about all of this i would assume that this this should, should be something that is not going to be static sure. So. sure i'm sure that this will change over the years i can't remember the last time Ember Wu that we it's, it's been, been a long time since we've gone, gone over this um, with the board and updated a governance, governance handbook. And that's, and that's what um, we we um, suggest that you, that you go over it one time a year, year and, and yeah. make your changes and make, make we redo the agreement that you, that you agreed to do business by the governance handbook. Yeah, yeah that's probably a good idea. Yeah. So, so why don't we, as a next step on this, 
Maybe, maybe we just, read, just it read it over carefully and just and highlight, highlight anything, anything that we think is just doesn't, doesn't really make sense or doesn't, or doesn't really, really explain, explain what the job, the job is. And then, and then, you know, you know and, then and then communicate that to Terry so maybe she can find something more clear. clear. Okay. okay. To talk, to talk about, about does that make sense, sense to, folks? to folks? Do you guys, Do you guys have, have changes that from, from the first, first read? read? Of, of no. No. Well, well, all right. All right. Yeah, we, yeah, we can yeah. do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so, so we'll, we'll, I'll be looking for those changes. changes. Yeah, and and like, like I said, I can, I can integrate those changes, those changes and, then and then you guys, you guys can, can look at it as a team and, and see if you agree with the changes. So, so you're not, you're not held, held by my change of the content, content or, my or my understanding of the content. Yeah. Yeah. And, and under such direction, we can add the for example. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, All right, so, so I, will I will work on that, on that with your help. Your help. Um, now, now we'll go to page six, six and, and I, I always like, like to put in, put in um, board, board bylaw 9005 and, and 9200, so it, so it gives a, a um, and, remember, and remember, this is used as an onboarding tool for your new trustees, trustees. So, it so it just gives them an understanding of a couple really, really important board bylaws. bylaws. If, you're if you're in agreement to that, to that I'll, I'll, I'll include those. those. If, you if you don't want them in there, I, I, I will, will exclude them. I think, I think it's a good idea, idea to include them. That way it's a comprehensive sort of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. set of information mm -hmm. for a new board member. Mm -hmm. Thank you. In, in agreement? Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. going, going to, to page, page seven, seven we're, we're going to talk about our governance norms, norms. and what are governance norms. norms? Um, culture, culture is the positive or negative atmosphere created by the way people in an organization treat each other. Teams, Teams have unwritten, implicit, or written, or written explicit, explicit agreements, agreements about, about how, how they will behave with each, with each other and others. These, These behavioral ground rules, often, often called norms, enable, enable teams to build and maintain a positive culture or shift a negative negative one. So, so um, I, have, I have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine bullets, bullets here. here. And, and I'd, I'd like, like to um, just have, have you look over, over those, those, see if, if there's any you would, any you would like, like to throw out, out change the language, language with. Um, if you go, go to page eight, eight the, the bottom of page eight, eight and, and the, the top, top of page, page nine, nine, you have some working norms already Adopted, adopted, and, and I, just I just thought that maybe you'd be interested, interested in adding, adding a couple of these to your, your adopted, adopted norms. norms. So, so um, I'll, I'll give you a sec to, to uh, browse, browse through those. those. And again, and again, your adopted norms are on the bottom of page eight and the top of page nine. And a, and a couple, couple of these are in both places, places. Um, like, like number one, one keep, keep our focus on the best interest of our students, and on number one of your adopted norms, keep the district focused on learning and achievement for all students, so they have similar language. I'm sorry, Terry, can you repeat what, what, what is on page eight versus page seven? Okay, okay so, so seven are just um, some, some that I suggested. I suggested. 
um, um, number, and, and if you go to page eight, eight the bottom of page eight, eight and the top of page nine, nine those, those are your adopted norms. norms. So, so we either could either stick, stick with the ones, ones you have adopted, adopted on the, the bottom of page eight and the top of page nine, nine or, or we could add, add a couple from um, um, page, page seven, seven. Whatever, whatever you wish to do. What is, what on, is on the top of page eight? The top, the top of page eight, eight we're gonna um, get, to get, to get to that after oh, we oh, finish, finish, finish the norms. norms. I'm sorry. And a, and a lot of times, times with the with the, with the governance, governance norms, norms with, with the with the norms that we create together, together um, they're, they're laminated, laminated and, and they're at the dais, you know, you know just, just as a reminder mm -hmm. for the board of you know, you know how we do business or they're posted somewhere in the boardroom. So I, 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 I like to hear what my colleagues think, but I think that we could probably take some of these that are on page eight, nine, and then incorporate them into page seven. Um, and some of that I see right off the bat are um, like number six, take collective responsibility for board's performance. And I'd, and I'd like, like to hear what everyone else thinks. They added, added the words and keep each other accountable. You have to keep each other, all seven of mm -hmm. us, keep each other accountable. I like um, that. And, and, and number seven, seven adding, adding um, taking, taking that whole sentence periodically evaluated. evaluate its own effectiveness. I don't think they saw that over on page seven. No. So maybe adding that to page okay. seven. Is everyone okay with that? And what, and what I, I could do is integrate the two pieces and then send it back to you and you can edit them also. Maybe, maybe but if there's, would be helpful. Okay. Yeah. But if there's something that you really object to or you don't see there, please tell me so I can make that addition. That would be helpful to see sort of how, like the overlap, because I think there's some similarities. And so we can identify maybe the, the gaps or the voids. Okay. Um, you know, in terms of the um, periodically evaluate its own effectiveness, I I would like to change that to annually evaluate. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, because I think periodically, I'm. Um, that's, that's been just, just not, not it's, it's softer well, well yeah. it's just there's, there's no, no time, time yeah. commitment right yeah, yeah. i just think it needs and to be an evaluation <laughs> yeah. just, like just like we evaluate the superintendent every right. year right we, we should, should evaluate ourselves every year agreed um that's, that's good language we could we could say evaluate ourselves every august or you know i mean he's talking about accountability this is for us this is all we're doing of course for us to work together so, so we can, I mean, I'd be fine with, with being that specific. specific. I think, I think an, the annually. annually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, could, it could, it could be that not when the year is over, it could be mid year. Uh -huh. um, it could be at the beginning of the year. It could be during the summer. I just think similar to assessments, <laughs> you, know, you know, we, we need to, I think, I think in an annual, annual evaluation, evaluation and then revisit it um, on a more, more regular basis, basis to just kind of continue to measure ourselves towards yeah. reaching oh, our cool. goals, no, right? I agree. I agree. And, and so, so I don't know if that's quarterly. I don't know if that's too frequent. I, I don't know, but I think there, there has to be something in between the year. Otherwise, we're always looking back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beginning of the year, middle of the year, end of the year. Or, or, sorry, that's how we should be. Right. Right. But, mm -hmm. I mean, if we... Your mic's not on, I don't think. <laughs> 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 I, I, I could do it. And, 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 and so, so the way CSBA, CSBA does the Board of Self-Evaluation is, is we, we send, send you a form that has six, six sections and about, about five, five to seven questions, questions on... on um, um, not, not job, job descriptions, descriptions, but what, what you've done, done for the year, and you, you um, um, rate each section, section from one to five, to five. And, and then, then we, we go over it collaboratively. We look at um, where, you're where you're low, where, where you're high. We celebrate the successes, and we talk, talk about fixes for, for the challenges. challenges. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. I think, I think um, um, 
bullet point. point. One, two, three, four, five. Five, five and, and six. six. The ones, the ones that, that say, say on page, page seven, be supportive, be supportive rather than judgmental when discuss, discuss issues, issues and not, not personalities. personalities. I would, I would rather, rather not have them in there because, because those, those are things, things that we might be working on. on. Um, not, not, I guess, I guess it's, it's I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it, it seems as if maybe, maybe we have a problem with that. And that's, and that's why it's in there. What, what, what part are you reading? Page seven, seven bullet, bullet five, five and six. Oh, I oh, okay. think you. And, 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 and this, this is, is not pointed, pointed at, at, you at, at all or at your team. team. It's, it's just, just some, some of the more, more common, common norms, norms that are in governance, governance campus. campus. Yeah, we, can we can also, also just flip, flip it because I, I, I do, I did, I did point out, I did, did make a note, note that it gives, gives me like a negative connotation. connotation. Okay. okay. We can, we can, I think, I think we can, the way I, the way I changed it was be supportive, be supportive of each other. Okay. And, and then focus discussion on issues. Just, just not, not mention and not okay. personalities. Okay. I, I think you're right. I think it draws attention to, oh, there's, oh, there's a problem. A problem. Okay. Yeah. Where, where we can just focus, sterilize it and just be more direct. Um, I'm, I'm fine with that. that out. Okay. Trustee so, Garcia, Garcia, how, how do you, do you discuss, discuss issues, issues and then what was the rest of that, that idea? idea? Oh, just, oh, just strike, strike and, not and not personalities. personalities. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's just like focus discussion, discussion on issues and then, and then be supportive, supportive of, each of each other as opposed, as opposed to be supportive rather than, than judgmental. Okay. Okay. Member, member Phillips, Phillips did that cover your. Yeah. Member Phillips. I also. Number, Number five, five on page, page nine, nine government and board, board adopt policies, policies and procedures. procedures. I think, I think it's maybe something, something to, important, important to put, to put into, into we agree, agree to. to. Okay. okay. Because, because that, that is, again, back, back to our role. role. We, are, we are here to govern in the policies, policies and procedures, and procedures that, are that are adopted for our district. district. Okay. okay. And again, and again, this is moving, moving forward, forward, not just this board, mm -hmm. but in the future. Yeah, yeah. we agree to work on policies. That was, that was a good, a good, good reflection. reflection. Thank, Thank you. you. Any any other, other reflections, reflections on the norms? And like I said, I can, I can take take your suggestions, suggestions integrate, integrate them, them together, together, and send, send it back to you. you. No. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh I, I did. have one. one. Sorry. Um, Go ahead. Um, um, there was there something, something about communicate, communicate a common, common vision. vision. Is this on, on page seven? seven? Yeah, yeah it's, on, it's, on it's on page, page eight. eight. On, on page eight? eight? Oh, oh, number two? two? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I mean, like that, I like that concept. concept. I don't know about, I don't the about the specific, specific words. words. We, usually we usually talk, talk about, about speaking, speaking with a with common, common voice. voice. Okay. okay. Would you Would like, you to, like change to change it to that? To that? Communicate, communicate or, or communicate, communicate with a common voice and vision? I mean, you could integrate both of those together or... I think vision, vision and voice are two different things. things. Okay. I, I think okay. that we can have, have a um, clear vision of where we want to be, be um, but have, have different, different, different opinions on how to get there. there. And, and, and that's, that's a healthy, healthy conversation, conversation um, to have. have. Uh, so uh, so I, I, I think vision, vision is still good. good. Um, um, and, and then it goes back to, like, you know, discuss the issues, right? And support each other. So over focus on those things. Um, then, the then the common, common vision, vision of folks on a common, common vision, vision. As, as we get to that vision, vision right? Um, it still, I think, I think it still, still works. works. But, but once again, again open, open to the conversation. conversation. Yeah, yeah, other people about that as well. So, so what, what came to mind was a common message as opposed to voice, because I, I think voice means mm, somebody, somebody loses, loses their voice, voice right? right? Mm -hmm. their, their point of view. So I just think that if we keep it, it to a common message, and then we all communicate that common message. Yeah. So I just. Because I, I think, yeah. yeah, and I don't know. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah I, I just think, think there's, there's a difference, and I just want to make sure that, that we're not, we're not I, I, you know, promoting, promoting somebody's voice to be diminished, diminished in some way, some way or that somebody feel like they don't, like they don't have, have a voice. voice. Where, where the, the, the real focus, focus the, common, the common, I guess, I guess um, communication, communication is about the messaging. Yeah, yeah, I think that's. I think that's. Right. right. I was, I was just, just looking through to see if maybe if it was somewhere else, else. but like one of the one of the, one of the big things, things about governance is is, is that issue, issue of we, we as, as a board, board. Mm -hmm. like like and, and you know you know we don't like like individually speak, speak for the board. board. The board, the board speaks, speaks for, for the board, board right? Just, which is yeah, all of us, um, or you know, you know by uh, by, at by at least a majority, right? That's what that's what it really is. Like like we're we're a board of seven, and. 
so, so I just, I just think that's, that's an important piece. piece. I don't really see it in here somewhere, so I don't know okay. where, where, where it belongs, but, but it is like a, you know, you I, know, think, I think it is an important, important governance to, to, to know, to know that. that. Yeah, yeah. And, and we talk a lot about, about um, making, making that, that transition, transition from I to we, right? Um, yeah. We run, we run as, individuals, as individuals, but then we're part of a government team, team and we have, have to um, um, collaboratively, collaboratively communicate, communicate that, that we message. message. Mm -hmm. so, so. I mean, maybe, maybe it was somewhere else. else. I was like, oh, it was somewhere, somewhere where it's, it's like talked about. about. I mean, it is it is a little bit maybe devaluing of the individual voice, but like that's the point, right? Is that the limits of individual voice board members authority, authority and that, and that sort, sort of thing. thing. Like I, feel, I feel like yeah, in, in, this in this conversation, conversation these are, this, this is an important thing, thing to, to adopt, adopt as, you know, as, you know, as part, part of the governance, governance norms, norms that we all agree to abide, to abide by. by. Um, I, just, I just think, think that's, that's an important concept, and I don't really see it incorporated in anywhere. I think I, I think saw, I saw it another page later on when I read it earlier. Is it? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll talk about um, um, some of those. those and and Terry, maybe um, when the spring, when we bring, bring this back, we can have copies of also the board policies that are listed for review. And then we can discuss at that point if we want to review this at a future board meeting to update those board policies. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good. Any, any other um, changes, changes or additions? Mm -hmm. Did we agree to incorporate number eight? Ensure opportunities, opportunities for the diverse, diverse range of views in the community to inform board deliberations. This is this is from him. Yes. Seven. 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 And you're, and you're um, not, yeah, they're, they're, they're commonly found in governance handbooks, handbooks. So, that's so that's why I brought them. them. Not, not pointed in, in any way. To, to so, so I just want to make sure, sure that, that so, so we're, we're, we're clear, clear cause I guess, uh, or maybe, or maybe I'm clear, clear that eight. eight. And, and page, page eight and nine are already board, board of policies, policies that we've adopted. adopted. Um, page, page seven of the, of the governance norms, norms are things, things that are common, common in, in governance handbooks, handbooks that, you that you are suggesting for our consideration. consideration. So, so eight, eight and yes, nine are things, are things that we've already adopted. adopted. Page, page seven, seven is things that we can, that we can um, also, also put into, into the things, things that we've already, already adopted. adopped. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So. so so when, so when I, I say that, that I would like, like to try, try and incorporate number eight into what is, is on page number, number seven, seven. Mm -hmm. is, that, is right that right or not? not? Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. I think I that's, think that's really, really important, important too, and, and I think it's, it's beautifully, beautifully written. Ensure, ensure opportunities for the diverse range of views in the community to inform board deliberations. Okay. okay. All right. Do right. you want to go to, to what's up above, above on page eight? eight? Yes. 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 So, so um, this, this um, um, these, these are, are not norms. norms. They're, they're just agreements. agreements. And, and so, so it says the board expects, expects its members, members to work, to work with, with each other and the superintendent, the superintendent to ensure that a high quality education is provided to each student. Each, each individual, individual board, board member shall. And then, and then it, goes it goes through one, one through, through eight. eight. And these, these were already, already yeah, yeah, these are already adopted, adopted okay. as a senior. So, so I just I wanted, wanted to, to um, have, have you browse, browse those, those really quick, quick so, so we can we come, come to an agreement on, on one through, through eight. eight. Sorry, Sorry, just going, going back. back. So, so these, these are, are in, in the, bar, the, bar, the, board the board bylaws. bylaws. These are, these the, are same. the same. Is it as in the board bylaws, right? right? Or no? Or no. Yes. They're, 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 they're connected, and they, and they were agreed, agreed upon, upon, and maybe, maybe Trustee Wu remembers, remembers when you created, created this. <laughs> <laughs> I think the last time we did this was about 2013, son of a, right? So it's quite a long time ago. Okay. Yes. 
I'm just, I'm just looking back and forth. It looks like they're the same. The 2017. Oh. So basically, so the governance standards on page six are the same as basically page eight and nine. And sometimes, and sometimes you, you put them in, in, in a couple areas, areas just, just for emphasis, but, but you, do, you do not have, have to have them in if you do not, do not wish to. to. Well, I well, think, I think they're, they're already in. in. Oh, oh, are they, they are, are already in, in, terms in terms of the, the, um, the governance, governance standards, standards of the bylaw, bylaw. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, that's included, included here. here. So, so unless we're talking about revising that bylaw, but I think it is pretty good defensible stuff. Mm -hmm. I agree. I that agree. could that probably, could probably be, removed. be removed. Okay. 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 Are we, Are we in agreement? I, I, I think I am, I am in agreement. I just think some, some of this can be incorporated, incorporated within, within the agreement we, we agreed, agreed to. to. The, 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 the things, the things that, that aren't on, on here, like, like for example, example um, like a few of them, like four, five. five. This is, this is literally, literally yes. Yeah, so like I, 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 I just, I just feel like, like those need to be incorporated in, in with the rest of it. Of it. In, the in, the in the governance. In the governance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In, the in the governance norms. norms. And, I and I can do that. that. Okay. I can okay. do that. that. Which, which, uh, five and seven. Um, four, five, seven, seven, four, five, five, seven, five, seven, and, and maybe maybe eight. Eight. eight ten. Ten. Okay. And then just, just make sure, make sure keeping, keeping always, always on, 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 the on the very top, top of that student. student. Okay. okay. Uh, now, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I guess, I guess so I'm so a little confused, confused as to why, why what we're, what we're what we're, what doing, we're doing with these. these. I think, I think it'll be more, more clear, clear like when they're all together and then we can go through them and then kind of say like, okay, okay take this one out, one out add these words to it. But because they're kind of all in different places, places it's hard because, because we're reading through it that way. way. So, so maybe on the next read, read once she, she goes, goes through it, she then integrates all of them, then it'll be an easier read. So the governance standards, like all of these are already on page six. The, the, the ones, the ones on, on everything, everything on page, on page eight, eight and the, and the first half of page, page nine is, is already, already reflected, reflected on page six. six. But the, but the difference is what I see is the, is the governance, governance standards versus, versus governance, governance norms. norms. It's a, it's, it's, they're not, they're not all, the all the same. Is that correct, is that correct or am I off? That was, that was my understanding. understanding. So, so are, are they are they, are they used, used for, for two two different two different, two different purposes? purposes or, or I, I guess I'm just, I'm just I'm, 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 it seems duplicative to me to have them in two, in two places, places or to have a whole, a whole set, set of them here, here and then and then have to pick, to pick and, and choose some from, some from here, here and put them into something, something else. else. Could, we, could call we call it maybe just, just one document that says governance standards and norms and then incorporate them all? Is, is, is that okay? okay? We could definitely, could definitely do, do that. that. Okay. Is everyone, everyone in agreement on that one? one? Yeah. 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 I, would I would just ask, ask why would you have them separately? Is there, is there like, like a functional, functional or practical, practical purpose? purpose? Um, um, sometimes, sometimes you just do it for emphasis, emphasis right? right? Um, um, and and so, so that would, would be the reason, reason for that. that. But, but what, I what I can do is integrate, integrate them again, again and, and can go, go over and, and you know, you know take, take out the ones you don't, you don't want, want and keep the ones you want. want. Maybe, just Maybe just simplifying it. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, where are we, where are we at, at now? Um, uh, team questions? Yeah, yeah, anything, anything else have any questions, questions about it? We'll, we'll, we'll just go through it one more time once it's all integrated, integrated together. together. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, all right governance team, team protocols. protocols. Okay, okay, so, so um, these, these are, are the protocols, protocols that, that uh, 
are, are usually, usually in a handbook, in a handbook um, and, and, I and I wanted to go, to go over them. them. Um, first, first of all, though, I wanted to um, have, you have you look at your flowchart flow chart that you created on communication. Um, um, I have that document on, on, on your, your table. table. Um, I, think I think it's really, it's really well written. written. I think it's, I think it's easy, easy to, look to look at so so it, and, and understand. So if you'd, if you'd like, like um, I'd, I'd like to put, put this, this, add this to your government handbook. I have, a I have a question. Yes, yes sir. Um, when we go, we go to communications, communication, uh, uh, why, why, why do we have to, have to uh, copy, copy board president? president? Speak, speak, speaking, speaking about, about the position, position, why does a trustee, trustee have, to have to copy board president, president in each, in each of, these of these things? Was, was, is there a is there reason, reason for that? For that? Um, mm -hmm. and, is, and, is there, and is that best best practice, practice or is that, that, that different other districts that you've worked with? And when was that protocol actually put in place? Yeah, this yeah, is awesome. 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 I'm, 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 wondering, I'm wondering when have you seen have you seen, you seen, have you have you seen, seen it in other places, places? and, and uh -huh. when was this protocol uh, in, our in our district put in place, place? And, then and then why does the trustee, trustee need to, need to uh, CC, CC the board president? Board president. Those, are Those are my questions. questions. Okay. Um, um, sometimes sometimes um, the you see the, UCC, the board, board president just to keep them, keep them in the loop, loop of communication, communication, so they, so they know, you know, you know which, which what, what board, board members are sending, sending to the superintendent. superintendent. Um, but, but I think you, you created this recently with another facilitator. Yes, yes, we, we did. We did yeah. actually. It was with Nathaniel Browning oh, while he was okay. our board assistant, and if I can kind of kind of answer that, so I think it's even more important now because. I work, I work directly, directly with the superintendent, superintendent to, to create, create the agenda for the board. board. So, if so if there are, are um, emails and concerns that need to be agendized for the, for the entire board, board I, won't I won't know about, about them if I'm, if I'm not being talked about on them. On them. Or, or whoever, whoever is president will not, will not know about them if, I'm, if, if we're not being copied, copied on them. Right, right. And, and, and then and also, also um, um, does this, this we, have we have concerns like that, that does this just put us in... And, 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 and an issue of possible, possible brown, brown act situations, situations if, 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 if it's, it's like, like you're on something, you look at it, it and then it goes out. Can, can, can that put us, put us in a precarious, precarious situation, situation by, by on, everything on everything having, having to, to um, CCC the board, board president. president? Not necessarily, not necessarily you, student, student, but, but the board yeah, yeah. president. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. What you, I know it's not picking on me. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I understand. Uh, yes, absolutely. I think that you do have to watch them for that. If, if that's the case. Else. And this, this document was created in January 2020. 2020. So this is, this is something that we need to talk, talk about. And I know during, during our um, Harvard, Harvard training, training, we talked a little bit about um, uh, the, the communications, communications as well. Uh, and I think that we need to have some deep conversations about how we handle communications, uh, how we reach out to staff, how we, how we make sure each board member has equal information to make decisions. I think we as a board, board need to have, to have those discussions about how do we make sure that happens. So, 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 this, so, the, so, so the board, board president being CC was done, done uh, put, uh, put a protocol, a protocol in place, place by our, our board, board when we, uh, in, in January 2020. Yes. Yes. Actually, this is the third generation. This, this, yeah, this, it's been, this, this was just our last, last generation. generation. Right. right. But they're, they're pretty, pretty much, much the same. Yeah. Yeah. Are there questions, questions Mark, Member Garcia? Garcia? I think, I it, think would it would be helpful, be helpful to, to at some point, point, I don't know, I don't know if it's right, right now, now um, it's to, add to add context as to why, as to why this exists, exists in the first place. place. Because, because um, it, is it is the third sort of, sort of version of it, of it, of it but it predates, it predates almost, almost all of us. So, um, so, so I think it would help be helpful to um, um, add, add clarity and, and provide, provide maybe, maybe more context, context to the responses for board, board, board member roads. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's fair. fair. Yeah, yeah, I would appreciate that. that. I, I don't know if now, now is the time, but we can, we can definitely do that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. I would formally like to request that we come back. back. <laughs> you got <laughs> it. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's, this is... Are you saying that to the board or just the board? I'm just playing. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> All right. Yep, absolutely. I got gotcha. you. Maybe we can come back at the same time because we're going to incorporate yeah. it in the handbook. But if there's, I don't know, maybe if there's anything that we need to talk about, we should just talk about it within this uh, communication protocol. Are there like 
or you know, I, I, I can be a bit uh, a bit general and broad um, and then have a deeper discussion board members I, I know that the first iteration happened uh, soon after my arrival um, when my sense of the organization was that um, uh, board members were reaching out directly to staff members and staff felt um, uh, sometimes confused, sometimes obligated, sometimes um, um, challenged uh, in terms of the communications, the direct communications that many of them were receiving directly from board members and um, felt and asked um, that uh, we try to establish um, something like this um, so that we could bring into uh, more balance uh, what, what, what this document is about, right? That the difference between management and um, vision setting and direction setting. Um, and so I, I think it does go to the heart of what you're talking about today. And uh, we uh, at that time felt that it was important enough to at least set some parameters for how we would begin the process of creating that healthier balance um, that is contained in this document, not in this document, but in this effort around governance. And so um, uh, that's kind of, I think, generally what, 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 what was uh, the, the impetus for this. I, I've heard that before. I was actually just, the, the questioning was specifically around um, the board president piece of, of like having to CC the board president piece. I understand the protocols of when you're asking questions and you go, hey, superintendents and email quick, this and that and the other. Um, but then would that not give uh, the board president uh, more information than the board members uh, that you're talking about? You said everybody has to get the same information. Would that not give intrinsically the board president with the most information out of everyone constantly? But it's the board president's responsibility to make sure that the board is aware and it is agendized. Right. And, and, and in terms of like things like media, media inquiries, the board president is the face of the board. And so I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, Anne, I believe there is a board policy based on media inqui inquiries um, where board members are not to speak to media. The, the board president is the face of the, the board to speak with media regarding board relations. If member Rose, there is a separate board bylaw on the president's roles, 9121, as well Perfect. for reference. The 9121? Yes. I do not know that one, and I still look into it. But um, so these are just real questions that I'm asking. Yeah, uh, yeah, just, that's that's good I, questions. That's there. Um, mm -hmm. It's just like, well, okay, tell me why we CC the board president. Yep. yep. Tell me what is the function. Tell us, tell me why, um, what is our... Um, how can we are we going to are we hedging for also brown act things and and i can see that there could be issue with that around this so how are we how are we making sure that we don't have that so these are these are real questions that i'm asking um as a new board member but then also to i think that get full clarity on on why we decided to put this in the document does that make sense mm -hmm. yeah yeah no it's it's fair questions and when we dive in deeper with the communications protocol i think we all have probably have some suggestions um and, and one of the suggestions that came out of like the harvard academy was sending out a weekly email of all requests of every single board member to all board members and the information that was sent out so we are all on the same page yeah every single request i think there if i could just say also i mean i don't i don't know if if if, if efficiency is the best term uh, member roads but um, i do i i think i am expected to work most closely with the board president um and it is helpful when our board president has context about the topics that board members are inquiring about and uh wanting deeper discussions about um again i don't know if efficiency is the best adjective for it um but 
um, it does help uh, to have direct communications with our board president, whoever that person might be, um, as opposed to trying to manage um, potentially seven different um, topics, if you will, um, that again, are for those that are part of effective governance, I'll say. I mean, there, there's, a, there's a lot of other topics that may not go to the heart of governance that I always interact with different board members on. Um, but for those that I think are part of our governance journey, uh, I, I think that it, it, it is helpful for me to be able to have uh, those discussions and that the board president is aware because there's some um, agreement and commitment to follow whatever iteration we're on. And we happen to be on the third iteration. So mm -hmm. we, can I we, add just so on an opposite side of that, if say a board member were to speak with, again, two other board members and not the president about an issue, that's creating another flip of the coin where the president now is not involved in that communication and we would be violating Brown Act at that point. Is that how I understand it correctly? If we're not looping you in as that first into person. Um, I think it, it just, no, I think it just depends on how many board members you've spoken to. Spoken Got to. Yeah. So I was talking about the, what that thread might look like. Yeah. If, yeah. if like you if that, if you email CC the um, board president, uh, board president, uh, CC somebody else, or you talk to somebody else, and then you don't, and then like the number of people you've talked to actually just, so I think maybe the difference in this is like requests. So these are requests that are being sent and then ceasing the board president. But the way that you're going to violate the Brown Act is if you're speaking about a vote, how you're going to vote, and then you're having a discussion about that. That's how you're going to violate that. Decision making. Yeah, all the decision, not, not a request. And are we on the right track on that? <laughs> yes. All right, good. <laughs> I always out. like to check. Him <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm sure I would have got a text message. <laughs> Do you have any any other? No, I think you know it might be helpful. I know that the you know CSBA has training on the role of a board president that you've done. Um, I know <clears throat> Daryl has probably done. Um, but if there's some, if there's, if there's things from there that we could take as learnings to better understand why, because I do think it's important and it does seem like, um, a little bit like, oh, uh, you know, it's too many people involved or, um, you know, it's just a, an inquiry I have, but I, I, you know, the longer I'm here, the more I like respect the protocol <laughs> because I feel like, you know, like it, it, you know, you can go haywire when it's not followed. And then, you know, when you do follow it, you see, okay, you know, it's just, it's just, it's a matter of like the smooth running machine, right? Like, so everybody knows what to expect. Like, and, and I would say, you know, if you have issues, like, you know, with, with the, the board president pretty much setting the agenda and um, being able to work with directly with the superintendent on your issues and try to keep in mind that the board president should be your one of the conduits, you know, like if you need to talk to somebody else on the board, you should try to loop in the board president. And if it's if you've already talked to two other board members or whatever, and, you know, then there's, you know, I would maybe handle it differently and just say, you know, I'm, um, you know, I'm not seeing board president because, you know, I've had a discussion with two other board members or whatever, but I think in general, it's kind of just good to keep in mind, like it's a good practice for, for these I have, things, right? Uh, board policy 91, 21 to look at. I think that's sufficient for me right now. Yeah. Um, and if I have any other questions, I'll uh, make sure to ask them. Okay. And maybe in a future governance training with Terry, we can have that discussion about the, the role of the president and the role of the board and the role of the superintendent. I think that we can dig a little bit deeper into that as well. If, if the board so wills it, then I'm, I'm equitable to sit in that meeting. Awesome. Yep. Thank you. And I have lots of information I can bring you guys. <laughs> She's done MIG training. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. So now we're going to go through a few protocols, um, starting on the bottom of uh, page nine. Um, one of my other facilitators uh, kind of defined protocols as the rules to monopoly, right? So if we were going to put a game of monopoly on a table and no one knew the rules, how would we play? So these are just kind of the way we do business. Um, so the first one that we're going to talk about is self-monitoring. Um, we will schedule workshops as needed to review governance team agreements and processes. And I think we touched on that a little bit. Um, we touched on, look, you know, reviewing the governance handbook. So that's pretty straightforward. Any questions on that one? Okay. I'm now going to the top of page 10, uh, voting no. Each board member respects the right of other board members to vote no on an issue. As a courtesy to the team, a board member may explain the reasons for the no vote, either during deliberations or before casting the vote. Questions? Huh? Okay. Uh, visiting schools. Um, can you um, describe the way um, it's done in Sacramento City School District if a board member would like to visit a school? I think that we all may do something a little bit differently. Um, it should probably go through the district office, correct, Superintendent? Or how? Yeah, I mean, I, I would refer back to the again this iteration of the board communication protocol because it is um, one of them. Um, when there is a, a request of a principal that requires his or her time, um, it does spell out um, what again what the protocol calls for. So, okay. Oh yeah. Number yeah, yeah. Four. And I think that's fair. And sending an email to the principal, copy the superintendent and the deputy superintendent so that way they know. And that should probably take in place in any school um, visit. Yeah. One, two, three, four. So if the request comes to you from a principal, then we send the email. I think the superintendent and the deputy superintendent should know that you'll be visiting the school site. Oops. <laughs> I know because I can play devil's advocate in this one because I I know a lot of my principals you know, for a very long time um, and just you know driving by and stopping and saying hi I think maybe that's different than stopping by and having a conversation about what's happening at the school um, yeah totally I think that's totally different than this was just, very, and I think we were very intentional uh, yeah. board members this is where there's a request of a principal that's that requires time or resources, human or capital, where where you're making a request that's going to uh, uh, take his or her time to respond to such request. Right. Uh, that's what this is focused on. I think if the question is specifically visiting a school, if you're just if if there are no requests that are being made as part of that, then and that, you know, I know many of you do that all the time, um, but this is where there's an actual request that's taking, again, time, resources from that individual site leader that we were, we were very intentional because we, we, we know that uh, many of you have very strong relationships with our school communities um, and you want to stop and you want to say hello, those kinds of things. Um, but this one is where a request is going to take time. <laughs> and believe me, when we came up with this protocol, there was a lot of discussion regarding this <laughs> because bet. a lot of us do have relationships. So it was like yeah. back and forth of like, well, what about this? And what about this situation? What about that situation? So I think the superintendent said it beautifully. If, if, if it takes away time from a principal, then it needs this, the superintendent and the deputy superintendent need to know. Okay. I, I um, think that's, what, oh, excuse me. Go ahead. Oh, uh, just going to say this. I think that's a kind of a powerful um, message that we all need to like internalize because the, the bottom line here is like, 
as board members, we don't supervise folks directly. And that's true for principals and also for district staff. So if we're if if we are making requests of them that take their time and resources, mm -hmm. then that's actually directing their work, which is not our job, right? So that's I think that's where it, it does need the um, the, the you know at least the respect of the looping in of of the people who are the you know responsible for for directly managing their work. And, and and I also think that it um, because of the times that we're currently in, it's not just visiting a school. It's also phone calls or um, Zoom calls that um, should be incorporated in that if it's taking time of work that needs that that's happening. If that makes sense. And just so I have a clarifying question, um, the verbiage under visiting schools, would you like to um, add that as an addition or just keep what's on the flow chart? Do you think you need further clarification or do you think the floor flow chart covers it? Um, I think it should be added. Okay. It's board. What did I, I'm at the will of the board, but. Your thoughts? I think that well, in the in the paperwork here, it does say um, <clears throat> board members will also be cautious about encroaching on the learning environment. Um, to assist in this matter, the superintendent will ensure that uh, principals and teachers know that uh, teachers do not. So I think that the, it does touch on it, and this uh -huh. and this this one goes saying like, hey, if you're going to take time away from a principal, if you're asking, hey, principal, whatever, I want you to was show me bungalows outside uh, during the school day. Um, they might not actually have time for that. And so if you, if you pull up on them, they pull up on me. You pull up on them and you say, <laughs> and you say like, hey, I want to see this bungalow at this point in time. Yeah. Uh, you, you, that should be common courtesy that uh, a board member wouldn't do that out of the respect for the position of what the principal is doing at the school site. Um, but having that in this uh, paperwork, uh, is, is helpful. I think that, um, I think, I think it was good in it. However we want to add that into this, I think they're complementary of each other. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, and I think that going down to the next one, handling concerns from the public and staff, I think it's covered in your flow chart. So I don't know that we, um, need to add all this, um, paragraph, but I just wanted to check with you and make sure. To have them now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the one question I had, it's on sentence one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it says members are to contact the superintendent or cabinet members. So um, a lot of districts have taken out cabinet members because they want the um, board members to just uh, contact the superintendent. Yeah, that so contradicts that the flow wish? chart. So, so yeah. maybe taking that out. Okay. We'll strike cabinet members. Okay. All right. Um, going down to the next one, um, and and I mean, I'm just saying this flow chart is really good. It covers a lot of this. Um, individual board member requests for information. Um, in some districts, um, board members uh, ask for a lot of information, and um, staff time is money and resources. So it's really talking about if it... Uh, Sometimes they put a time limit, like if it takes staff more than half an hour to gather the information, it has to come on the agenda for the board as an information item. And then if all seven of you agree that you want that information, then it goes forward. So I'm sorry to do this, but can we go back up to handling concerns oh, of the yes. public and staff? Yes. yes. Um, the, sec the second sentence is kind of confusing to me. Okay. Board members will make sure they understand the appropriate order of whom to contact. And it goes to the teacher, then principal. To me, that reads like the board member would do that. And maybe I'm just reading it incorrectly. And uh, 
And so I think that that's referring to the chain of command that um, if a parent contacts you, yeah. that you're referring them to the chain of command. If a parent has a problem with the teacher, they would contact that teacher first and then go up the chain of command. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I, it's just not kind of written like that. So, okay. I, but, I'm going to put a, let me put oh, a mark to, um, did any, did it, am I the only one that it's better to be clear with what you're okay. asking? I can put chain of command in there. Yes. The, of have, the and maybe will, saying like I'm having the community member follow, follow the chain of, chain of command. command. Okay. Cause I, I mean, that's, that's what I do. If like someone calls me and I ask them like, what steps have you taken? Right. And then make sure that they've gone through the appropriate steps because, because sometimes our community likes just like to reach right out to us and, yeah. and ask us. So, um, which we're here to help, but making sure they're following a chain of command. I guess that was just kind of confusing me. Got Sorry it. to bring you back up to that one. No, 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 no. I had another, I had another point on that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just reading and uh, it's the first sentence after the semicolon, then we will direct that person to the person in the district most appropriate. That's not how we do it here. Okay. We either um, direct them to constituent services or to the superintendent. Okay. So, so oh, right. Can, yeah. Yeah. yeah we're not, that. You're right. We are not making a determination about which staff person. Okay. Yeah. So it can be constituent services and or superintendent. Superintendent. Yeah. Um, Unless it follows this board protocol, because if it's like a complaint about staffing programs, facilities, and it says reaching out to superintendent and copying the board president. We can, we can just take out that piece too. Keep our protocol. Mm -hmm. And then just go down to the chain of command piece. Oh, oh, yeah, you can take out maybe yeah. after, after the semicolon. Yeah. The rest yeah. of that. Yeah, that's fine because it is addressed in the communication protocol. Okay. Perfect. Thank you for catching that. Yes. Thank you. Okay. okay. Sorry. Sorry. Now, right. next, the next no one. No problem. No problem. Any <laughs> other on handling concerns? I probably went mm -hmm. over that too fast. Um, so, uh, going down to individual board member requests for information, you do have that on your flow chart. Um, but in some districts, it's been quite a problem, and so that's why I included it. This is for individual board member request mm -hmm. information? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and staff members. Yeah, well, I was reading that whole sense. Individual board members will self will self monitor to ensure one person's request for information does not divert an inappropriate amount of time from staff members' efforts to achieve district goals. I. Do you want to strike that whole that, that whole piece? I think, I think maybe it just needs to be reworded. Okay. What, what would um, um maybe like it, maybe individual board members will follow, follow the protocol, protocol communication, communication protocol. protocol okay follow, follow communication to ensure, to ensure one, one person's, person's request, request. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's, that's is, that is that okay with the board of, 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 of changing, changing it that way just, just changing, changing, changing it to communication protocol, protocol? I, I, I think it's a little, little bit i think i think it's trying to get at something a little bit different yeah, yeah. What, 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 do what do you think? I remember. I remember. Um, the the, the self monitoring. Is it's really about how much time and resources are you are is that one person taking? So regardless of whether they follow the protocol, if the you know if the, if the analysis is like a big a big effort. Um, Sometimes, Sometimes it's described, described as, as good to know and need to know. To know. You, know you know, what do you need to know? know? And uh, um, so, so, this so this brings me back to my request about like having a, like a weekly um, email and a board communication of all requests sent out to the entire board. Maybe this is an appropriate time to have that conversation. 
Were you all? Were you all did, did, was, was it, it just in my group, or did we? Was, <laughs> was everybody? <laughs> sorry, sorry, we were putting certain groups. Certain groups yeah, we had conversations in groups. In groups. Was, was everyone part, part of that conversation? conversation? No, but no, but I think it's a good idea because I don't. I mean, I mean, obviously we have different districts, but again, we always go back to we're overseeing everything in our community, so it's important to me to know what's going on and. Uh, member Woods, never see it, it just to know. Need to, need to know. Yeah, I, yeah I, I guess for me, like I always viewed it as like, um, you know, my area is completely different from your area, and there may be problems or ideas that arise from your area that could benefit our entire district, not just one area. And so that that was kind of my thinking on it. Is there? What does everyone else think? I think, I think it was, it was presented, presented to us, I think, Member, Member Garcia yeah, and I, as a best practice, practice in our, in our um, initial, initial like CSBA training when we, <laughs> when we what, went. Oh, was it? Yeah. 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 I, I, I like that idea. idea. I, like I like it too. I think um, it has to come in. Uh, I'm, just I'm just wondering like the, how we receive the information. Is it like themes? themes? Like, like these are sort of some, some like, like, you know, bullets, maybe? Um, maybe, maybe a little, little bit more, more than bullets, bullets um, but, but not, not like super specific, because I think that's going to be very time consuming. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Do you want to kind of, because you and staff would be the one that would have to put this together. So do you want to talk about what the capabilities would be of staff to be able to put something like that together? Yeah, yeah I, I think we, we'd have to come up with an efficient manner to do it. Um, and then ensure that we have a process also um, by which we're able to assess and then determine what information is appropriate to share with the rest of the board that a particular board member is asking. Um, certainly, I think our goal, and I'll look to Ms. Vigil, our goal should be that information that's requested um, as, as Member Morosky was mentioning, is because there, there is an element that uh, applies to district initiatives as, as a whole, um, as, you know, as a balanced approach that doesn't have specific requests that the majority are for just your trusty area, for, mm -hmm. if you will, I guess, mm -hmm. right? I, mean, I think that's what we have to try to continue to just manage is that that information requests are because we are trying to advance district initiatives and certainly i i ex, uh, expect um from each of you uh requests that are appropriate or applicable to your trustee area but hopefully those are fewer than those that are applicable to advancing district initiatives that we discuss as as a board as well yeah. so We'd have to figure out how to how to how to monitor and track that, um, but uh, we will we will look into it. Yes. Maybe we want an agreement with that. Member, Member Morris. Yeah. yeah, I was just going to say, you know, maybe superintendent and you as board president can just circle back on that and assess whether whether you think it's doable, you know, worthwhile, <laughs> given yeah. the cost and staff time. Um, yeah. I, I would say, like, you know, anything related to individual constituents, situations, et cetera, would not be, a you know, shared with the rest of the board and that sort of thing. So, I, I, yeah, I just don't want to. Overburden. Overburden. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'll check with you on that. On that. Okay. One. When it, okay. Uh, All right. I did want to add on that paragraph, the second, where it says an individual board member will work to let the superintendent and staff members know. I think and staff members should be removed because we just are making it again the request oh, yeah. to the okay. superintendent. Got it. Got it. Good. Good catch. Yeah. yeah, and are you, I don't know, if superintendent or oh, President Pritchett, are you are you both comfortable with this? Super, if superintendent believes a board member's request requires, requires considerable effort, the decision proceed will go to the full board, or is that a, a decision that the board president should make? Wait, wait, wait pardon, I'm sorry, are you reading the last sentence? Sorry, the last sentence. Sorry, yeah. the last oh, sentence. okay. Yeah. And, that's and that's what I was talking about, like if something's, something's going to take yeah. a lot of time to gather. I, I, I think that it does need to be agendized at that okay. point. Is that, is that an agreement of, of, that we would all get that same information? information? Yeah, are we still talking about the same timeline? Because um, Terry mentioned 30 minutes or more. 
Is that, is that like, like the trigger, trigger or? Oh, maybe, oh, maybe we, we should, should put that in there. there. Considerable, considerable effort. Considerable, considerable effort. effort. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, it already, already says considerable, considerable effort. effort. But do you want, do you want to change it? What, what, what was your recommendation? recommendation? No, no, I'm just mentioning that Terry mentioned a specific sort of time. Um, um, it takes so, more than 30 minutes. Uh, yeah. I, don't I don't know what consider. I mean, I feel like a lot of these terms, terms can be uh, relative. Yeah. So, so I, don't, I don't I don't know, know what a considerable effort would mean. So maybe, so maybe it could be filled out of like, I don't know. I don't know. Well, 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 Superintendent, uh, for when we have questions about anything, usually, uh, what, what is considerable? Does it, I, would, I would imagine. How long does it take? I would, I would imagine like getting, getting information, writing, writing back to a board member. It, it, it's more than 30 minutes. Uh, I would think on anything usually. Yeah. I, I, um, so I just, want, just wanted to hear from you. Yeah, I, I, I would say that um, aside from time or more important than time is whether the request is going to require new work. Um, especially cross-functional new work, right? That's going to require lots of bodies to come in to respond to something that is not, is not happening or that you're asking that it that it start to happen uh, that that is how i would define more um what would take considerable work and and i think that if you're in agreement that we 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 have some some parameter around not just requests for information about or or that we have parameters about requests for information that require a new effort or new body of work or request that new bodies of work be initiated um, as, as a request from an individual board member. I think those are things that we have to agree would automatically come back to the board as a whole. Okay, okay so, so that's that's a good clarification. Um, and I, I think that if we had something like that in there, um, because I can imagine, I just, I just imagine myself uh, writing back emails and finding information to constituents, right? Sometimes they'll ask a question. I, maybe I don't have the answer right there. I go find the information. I get back to the individual that, that could take more than 30 minutes of my time, right? Um, and as the superintendent is working um, and, and helping to run the district, run the district, you, you're going to have to say, if you get, a, you get something from us, you might send it somewhere, you might continue to work, you might come back to it the next day. It still takes you more than 30 minutes, I would think. I um, mean, there's seven, there's seven people. So I think that uh, engaging what he thinks is considerable. Um, and then I like the, the uh, conversation about the new work, bodies of work, or like, I think that should be placed in there. Okay. Okay. Maybe, Maybe it's just me. Members, members will self-monitor to, to ensure one person's request for information does not divert an, an inappropriate amount of time from, from staff, staff member efforts to achieve district goals. I mean, it's, I mean, it's wordy. Yeah. I, think I think he's just speci uh, specifying uh, what that means. So if the superintendent thinks that your request requires considerable effort, this decision to proceed will go to the full board. I think I think what superintendent we're saying is if if it if it requires producing a new body of work and um, I forgot the last one you said. Yeah, maybe maybe um, I can't think right now of a case study. Maybe one of you can help me if you think of one as I as I'm describing it. But if you were to receive some kind of inquiry from a constituent and um, I come back and say, in fact, we're not able to do that or we're not currently doing that, that a request from a board member to say, well, I'd like you to start doing that, you know, when that that, that would initiate a new body of work that would take a lot of consideration that we agree that that kind of request, if you will, would take would take, would take considerable, considerable effort in that it would take a lot of time, of course, but it would it would require us to do something that is the new. And if seven, seven board members are doing that consistently, then I think we have to agree to a norm that new bodies of work, new efforts would 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 have to come back to to the board as a whole. Some of the things that come in mind when you say that are like things like um, a, a program that you want to start um, or um, a, a new a facility or um, a new playground, <laughs> new blacktop, things of that nature that were 
it would, it would take a considerable amount of work because it would have to be evaluations done. done there would if budgets, budgets would have to be done like there, it would take several bodies in that sense. Yeah, yeah, and or, I'm sure that's a just small a small light. like exactly. explanation, but those are the kind of things that were coming to my mind. Okay. Yeah. yeah, or an analysis. Yes. yes. Of like yeah. Some, something that's not readily available. Yeah. yeah. Uh, an, an, an effort that's required. If it can't be like easily pulled, but it's actually a, yeah. Yeah, yeah I can think of, and I know that, that maybe uh, our community may be intrigued by this, but I know there was a case study during our our Harvard governance training, if you remember one of the yes. caselets was, you know, where one board member just kept asking for more and more information, more and more disaggregated information. And um, I think that would be an example. Now, none of you have done that, but that would be an example of where at some point we'd say, you know what, it's probably better to tie those requests to something that we may want to talk about that is triggering the request in the first place. You know, we, we need to do a better job of serving uh, our students uh, who are facing similar hardships or circumstances, uh, as opposed to trying to just respond to the board member who's making those yeah. requests. Okay. okay. And I'll integrate that language in here, and then you guys can review it. And But that's a great um, example. Okay. All right. All right. So, so um, moving down to individual board member request for action. This is really straightforward. It comes straight from BB 9200. Um, just talking about the authority rests with the whole board. Um, with, the, with the majority. Board. With the majority. Yes. Sorry. Any, any questions on that one? Okay. Okay. The next, the next one is request for board meeting agenda information. These are just questions that you ask before the meetings, and it just gives a time when they need to be submitted. You might already have that, um, but this just delineates. Um, I know your board meetings are Thursdays. So, so um, when, when is the time cut off for, for questions? So staff, so staff has time to get you the information before the meetings. Well, and, well, and um, um, this is something that also, Terry, that I'd like to work on at a future board um, yeah. Yeah. governance training of um, maybe creating a, a protocol or a form for um, board agenda item requests. I saw in Harvard they had... Um, so we're talking about best practices and um, when any board member, I forgot the school district, but um, school, they had a day um, or where board members can actually come ask questions, specific questions that they're going to be asking uh, ahead of time to have that conversation if they had questions there um, and or submit something so they can get so staff is aware they can ask the question in depth uh, nobody is you know we don't want staff up there and there to be uh, like a gotcha moment we want them to actually be able to answer the questions in depth yeah. for uh, the board and the community at large uh, so we, we it's never a gotcha moment but it put in systems in place to where we have those strong dialogues and then that uh, staff members can come back and still answer our questions and we can still ask the questions but staff members are very aware to be able to answer them in depth uh, for ourselves and our community members uh, uh, and um, if we don't have something like that now, it would be really nice to have some form of something like that so that we can uh, make sure that we're like serving our community well with answering those questions. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I totally agree. We should be asking and finding out information prior to board meetings. Obviously, there's going to be things that arise at board meetings during presentations. Um, and, and that might also limit the amount of questions that would take place at board meetings as well. Much, much like our two buys that are, but, but, but something, something on a regular basis. That's what you're saying. Yeah. 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 I think that this is, this is, this is fine for, um, for some items. I think maybe, maybe that's a deeper conversation about um, board meetings themselves, because sometimes if, if most of the bulk of the information is, is, a, is in a presentation that's not available before the meeting, there's, there's not, not we can't, we can't ask questions about that. Yeah. yeah. Very true. So um, 
I, I would say, you know, this would apply to, you know, when there is like a report or an executive summary or something available, that, that is a reason or the budget, you know, something that we can review. I think that's, right. that's reasonable. And I don't know if uh, uh, superintendent, president Pritch, if you think nine, nine o'clock, the, the prior day is, is a good, it seems fine to me. We don't, we don't have a time specified that I, that I'm aware of. No, no, and certainly I, I want to be the first to uh, also say that we have uh, improvements that we that we have to make as well, uh, Member Morawski, and I, I don't want to be hard and fast uh, for a nine o'clock time. Uh, yeah. At times we um, are still finalizing and you don't have access to PowerPoint presentations. Um, so um, I, I can't think of an instance uh, over the course of the past four plus years where I felt that uh, any board member had sent questions uh, or untimely questions based on when we have shared information with you. Um, I know that we have tried our best to be proactive through two buys um, so that you don't feel that you can't frame questions until you get a PowerPoint presentation. And I think that uh, I'd rather continue on that path of just assuming that given our uh, the, the lean organization that we are, um, that we work with one another so that when you know that it's an important topic, we provide the opportunity for two buys that seem a little bit independent of when you have a PowerPoint presentation to frame your questions. So if, mm -hmm. if maybe Ms. Vigil can instead incorporate that we okay. will continue to work together and remain committed so that you're asking me uh, or you're requesting a two by given the the uh, complexity of a topic, if you will, um, then I think it would be appropriate to say um, that between the two by and the board meeting, we should we should we should have some questions from you. Um, Maybe, Maybe it should just be changed to like to a, to a reasonable time. time. Yeah. yeah. And, and and not subject, not, not well, maybe just change to a reasonable time. Reasonable and just leave time. it, leave it at that. Yeah. Is everyone well, okay with that? It says if possible. It says if possible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We can, we can take out that time. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, the next one, I don't, I don't really agree with. I think it's addressed on your flow chart. Um, the superintendent would spend a lot of time on this one. So I just, I think this is, um, this would take a lot of time. So I don't, I wanted to get your take on it. Uh, I do, oh, go ahead. I do think this is an item that, again, goes back to circling the board. Okay. Um, I think our city council members, our mayor, I think in, in our own city, there are a lot of things that are going on and we all hear different things. I think okay. it's really important if there's something going on that would be beneficial for our board to know. I mean, I think it should be shared with either the superintendent if he feels it's appropriate to share with the board i mean it's knowledge is is power for all of us to know what's going on okay so maybe um like just up the parameters of it if it's you know it, not just every little dealing with it right <laughs> but if it's something important that would you know okay do we think that the superintendent needs is it oh wait, maybe i'm reading this wrong that he would have to inform us yeah. yeah, that's how I'm reading it. That he would have to inform us. I I think that that's that's part of his job. So does he need to inform us every time that he reaches out to a government official? Um, that's probably on a daily basis, Superintendent, with all of your calls with SCOE and other superintendents throughout the district and CDPH. Do we agree? Not the superintendent. Yeah, I members. Okay. I I think maybe maybe it needs to be. Um, I don't, I don't know. Does, does anybody have any like? I saw your. Go ahead. I think there. I'm. I'm just processing what you're saying. I think there is an opportunity to have a two-way street. I think um, not only like big issues that could impact one way or another the district, but vice versa too, right? Um, so 
I think it, I think we should have it where the superintendent can share with us, um, you know, big, again, big efforts by the city. Like reasonable. Yeah, not not little things, but it, they're just like impactful um, yeah. things, efforts for our district and our, and our students. I put big ticket, but I'll get better link. <laughs> it's just a reminder. For and vice myself. versa. Like you said, vice versa. Uh, right. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh -huh. thinking about, you know, after school programs, I'm thinking about, um, you know, the, um, the Wi-Fi um, partnership. I'm thinking about, you know, just, there's just so much, right? And I think moving forward, um, both the district and um, cities, counties, and they have a lot of resources. So, um, yeah. so partnering potential future opportunities to partner on um, bringing our one-time limited resources together to have um, a wider impact on our community. I think those are the kinds of things that we'd want to know about mm -hmm. and share with the superintendent about opportunities as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Maybe, maybe that could be I'll in the form of a BC or something. I, I also wrote. Yeah. Uh -huh. Also wrote, wrote non-routine. Okay. Because okay. there's a lot of oh, yeah, routine non, communication. Like non-routine. But if yeah, I I, I agree with what uh, Second yeah. Member Garcia. Um, the next one is communication methods, and it's just board members let the superintendent know what's the most effective one-on-one -on -one method of communication for them: text, cell, or email. Okay. Just a real, real quick. Um, so going to page 11, um, answer unknown when a board member or the superintendent does not have the answer to a specific operational matter when asked by a constituent, a response will be given in a timely manner by appropriate individuals. Board members are asked to contact the superintendent when this occurs. It's kind of covered in your flow chart, so I don't know if we need to be redundant and put it here. I don't, I don't think, think it hurts, hurts for it to be okay. cut here, but it's. Any, Any others? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. All right. Reports, report schedule. Yeah, yeah reports, reports on, on progress made, made to address um, evaluation, evaluation goals, priorities, and recommendation. Uh, seek, seek timely conclusion of items of concern to the board. To the board. So, so this, this um, is just regarding, you know, you know at, the at the beginning of the year, year if you set goals, goals for the superintendent, it's just, it's just kind of letting, letting the board know throughout the year of the, year of the success, success indicators, indicators or, or maybe why it's not being completed. You know, we just went through 18 months of COVID. There was a lot of things, things were, that, were that were postponed, postponed. Um, but, it's but it's just letting, letting you guys, guys know the um, progress on goal set. Maybe, maybe adding, adding something in there, in there like creating a timeline. Okay. Okay. And and these are protocols for the board. board. So, so evaluation goals, goals. I, guess I guess that would be for board and superintendent. Well, these, well, these I'm, I'm just saying, like this, this, this whole thing is a list of protocols for the board, board right? Yes. yes. Governance, governance team, team protocols. Yes. yes. Okay. Well, the, well, the superintendent, superintendent is part, part of the governance. Of the governance. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. So yes. this is. Yes. So, so what is it actually saying? Is I'm a little confused by the. It's just not not a complete sentence, I guess. Okay. Okay. I can, I can change the language, the language to, to make, make it reflect. reflect. Like are we, like, are we making a promise, a promise to, 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 do to do this? this or, I agree, I agree with, with that. I just, mm -hmm. and, and I, I think, think it's kind of a just, just and, and I, I can reword it, um, just, just to, to let, let you guys, guys know the progress, the progress toward, toward goals, goals during, during the year. So is, so is it like the like superintendent, superintendent shall? shall or, or like, like, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll put that. that. That's, That's good. Shall. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay constituent suggestions. I have a question about this. Would this okay, okay, superintendent, would this be um, a correct way of doing it? Or would it be going through constituent services? Or is, or is that only for complaint processes? I'm trying, I'm trying to, to I'm trying to reconcile this one, uh, one because, because I think uh, we spoke about it a few minutes, minutes ago, ago in terms, in terms of, of that, that last sentence, sentence in, in particular, um, not, not just an operational, operational matter, but a new, new matter, a new effort, effort um, and then all board members, I think, should be aware of 
requests that are being made, made that was the city, city that, that I was trying, trying to uh, respond, respond to as well. Um, uh, I, think I think this is, is uh, not, not so much constituent so services, services because, because it's related, related to operational matters. matters. Mm -hmm. and, and, I and I think that, that um, board, board members, I, I feel, I feel that, that um, all, all of you um, have, have managed, managed this very well in terms, in terms of constituent inquiries related to um, open, open enrollment, enrollment processes, appeals, appeals um, questions, questions that, that, that you, you might have. Um, they, are they are not coming, coming at a rate, rate in, my in my opinion, opinion where, where I think, think we need to, to shift them away, them away from, from my, uh, from, 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 from the protocol as it stands, stands today. today. Um, mm -hmm. And then we should, we should probably, probably revisit, revisit that, that if that were to change, change. But, but I think for the, for the moment, um, they're, they're manageable. manageable. I, can I can think of other, other cases, cases where we, we received um, the, same the same message signed, signed by different constituents, constituents re requesting that, that we, we work on something or towards something. something. I think those, those internally, we do go, go through, through constituent, constituent services so that we can respond, respond to 20, 20 constituents, constituents that have the same concern, concern for example. example. Mm -hmm. um, but, but for those that are um, unique, unique um, I think, I think the, the current, current communication, communication protocol speaks, speaks to those. To those. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Well. Fair, fair. Right. Um, um, board, board meeting organization. organization. Um, um, and, this and this is, is just talking about, about uh, you know, you know um, um, maybe, maybe adding, adding workshops, workshops or um, making, making sure, sure that um, the, meetings the meetings are needed um, to, support to support the board, board discussions, discussions and decision making, making on complex issues. issues. Um, um, I think maybe, maybe um, you have, have this covered in your flowchart, chart, but I just, I just wanted, wanted to get, get your opinion, opinion on that. On that. I, you, know, you know, I, I kind of want to dig into this a little, little bit. bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> and, 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 and just like the first partial, partial sentence on there, the board meeting timing. Okay. I, 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 speak I speak with many, many of you and, and, and here, here that they feel, they feel our, our meetings go too, too long. long. Okay. okay. Um, but, then but then we, we have, have additional, additional meetings, meetings, and then I hear we have too many meetings. meetings. So, so I want to have this discussion here and, here and now to know, to know like, what is, what is sufficient, sufficient for our board? board? What do we expect of our board? Um, and, 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 and what do we all agree on? Um, and, then and then also, you know, I reflected a lot on you know, you know what, what from, from the Harvard, Harvard Academy, Academy. And, and, I and I know I think I heard you mention this as well about like, like um, you know, talking, talking to other boards, boards um, to other boards, boards across, across you know, the United, United States, States about, about um, how, how long, long their board, board meetings go, go how, how long each, each board, board member gets to talk, um, all of that. So I think we need to have a discussion about we know, we know. I mean, there's, there's nights where our board meetings go really, really long, and I couldn't believe we were talking, talking about budget stuff at 11 o'clock. After, after 10 o'clock, I'm just seriously, seriously like, I know I need to pay attention. attention. I'm really, really struggling, struggling to pay, pay attention. I'm so, so exhausted. We all work. We all, we all have been at work all day long. We're taking care of families. And I think we need to have this discussion with all, with all of us, us to, to, to know, know what's sufficient. sufficient. If you think, if you think our, our board meetings are going to long, because, because, it, it's gonna it's gonna take, because it's going to take, take staff, staff time. time. Mm -hmm. because, because that, that staff, staff member might be presenting, presenting on Thursday, Thursday night, night, but then we ask, ask them to come back on Tuesday, Tuesday night to present, to present again, again, and that's more staff time. time. So go, go, go ahead, ahead Marilla. Marilla. Um, um, I agree with that. I also, I also think it takes, takes away, away from, from our community, community input. input. Not, a not a lot of folks can stay up until 1130 at night to listen to our conversations that go on. I agree. I think they go way too long. Um, I, um, know I know we have, we have a lot, lot of information, information. Of, course, of course, this last, last year has been, been yeah. Yeah. daunting. However, However I, 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 did I did bring that, that there was a, a, a few board, board members, members in uh, uh, different, different uh, areas, areas um, that, that indicated that they had board member time, time limits. limits. And you and needed, you needed to, provide to provide your information in that, that, that time frame. frame. And if you weren't able to do that, then you either had to have a vote from other board members to allow you to continue for another two to, two to five, five or you, or have, you to have to wait and, wait and then get that, that information submitted, submitted later. later and i know, and I know that's hard because we all have a lot of information that we want to ask but 
we have, we have time limits for a lot of our, you know, right. community that calls in. We should also adhere to time limits. That's, That's my opinion. opinion. When, when something to also keep in mind, we do have a student board member on our board. And when our meetings go till 1 a.m., that student has to get up the next morning and go to school and pay attention to their That's academics, um, which is tough. So I kind of like to just hear from everyone of like, what do, what do we expect, expect of, of, of this board? Go ahead, Go ahead member Phillips. Phillips. You don't even have to raise it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to hear it. <laughs> so my, am I, is my mic on? Yeah. yeah after 1030, because you know the bylaws say 1030, we can take one vote to extend. But my, my, my biggest concern with, I mean, if we could agendize in a way that keeps us that keeps it short, then we might be able to succeed. I know we have questions. I haven't heard a bad question yet. So we're asking pointed questions, but I mean, we I don't even think that we're making proper decisions after 1030. You know what I mean? And I'm sitting there going, I, I can't even vote on this because it doesn't feel like I am even awake enough to pay attention to what we're doing right, so yeah. when, when when 10 30 comes up and you guys take a vote and i do this i really mean that so um you know you know as far as i know 10 30 maybe with one extension 11 30 might be okay but it, i mean going into one o'clock and two o'clock in the morning i'm like ready to blast out of here so and i and i know i'm not making good decisions you know i i know i'm not comfortable with sitting here this late at night with poor jacqueline and you know poor, poor board member shake and everybody who's online yeah. who's been waiting so i mean you know we could even to satisfy the the community put them you know you know in a position where we would hear them sooner and make sure that our agenda looks in a way that allows them to be heard but i mean i mean we all agree every time that we take a vote to extend everyone agrees so like like there's no one dissenting but me which sounds like y'all still want to go to two o'clock in the morning on some occasions and i just can't do that you know what i mean because of the importance of what we're doing the decisions that we're making 1130 is not rocking it it's you know for me it's problematic but that's how i feel about it personally yeah and i i agree with you and sometimes it's dangerous leaving here that early when you're that tired right and and our staff our staff that's running our meetings have to do the same they still have to clean up and then get out of here they get out of here after us and so uh i guess my my question is you know we we Say, say, you know, we meet twice, twice a month. month. We know we've been meeting much more than that because there's so much happening in our district right now. Um, and so I don't superintend if you want to weigh in, um, but I, I mean, I'm thinking maybe it takes that we commit to additional board meetings. How, how many because how many we have we have to get things, things done. done we, we know, we know that. that we have we, the, the reason why we vote to 2 30 in the morning is because there's stuff on the agenda that we absolutely have to get to but we that. owe it to our public to make sure that we're making decisions that are informed yes but that are also made you know from a from more than a semi-conscious state it just feels like we're you know i I'm, I'm right there with you, which is why I brought this up. Right. right. So, yeah. so, so let's say you ask for extra meetings. You know what I mean? Then it comes into how many meetings are we allowed to miss in the event that we cannot make those? I work emergency services. So sometimes you're going to catch me not here. And then there's there's penalization for not making the meetings. And, you know, we have more meetings. It's It's just... Catch 22. Yeah, yeah it is. is. I want to be awake when I make votes. When I, when I vote on stuff, I, I want to be awake. And I, also, and I also don't want to drive off the road on the way home. So I think in terms of safety for, you know, everyone here is that we really consider making the agenda and sticking to that agenda. And I know that some of our presentations are extremely long. The hour long one we had the other night was like informative, but yeah, you know, what can we do to... It's usually our questions, really, that I think drive everything longer. And that's what. And then the amount of meetings we're having, uh, you know, I've had people ask me, why do we have so many meetings? And I was like, well, that's like, uh, at this point, asking God, why do we have a pandemic? It's because of the pandemic that we're having these meetings mm -hmm. to be able to address 
issues that are going on with our, our district. So the meetings, the amount of meetings, I think, are due to the circumstances of the times we're living in. Um, and and I, I think that the the length of our meetings are due to uh, our questions. But a lot of times we have a lot of questions because we get the, uh, the PowerPoints, the information, yeah. Yeah. like the day of or the day before. And so we, we actually have real questions uh, about this topic. So, I mean, um, I don't know the right answer. I, just, I know what the issues are. I just don't, I don't have an answer for them. And public comment is not incorporated into the agenda times either. Superintendent, Superintendent. Mm. Uh, did you want to weigh yeah. in? I, I, I wanted to just share uh, very quickly that um, I've thought a lot about this issue. Um, and I certainly agree uh, with member Rhodes' assessment. I think the, I was reminded the other day that last year we had an additional 20 meetings, workshops, um, than those that we had originally approved uh, a year before when we approve our special our, our board meeting calendar, if you will. Um, and that 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 is a lot. Uh, hopefully it's it's because of what we're uh, going through right now and 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 the judgment that we had that we made over the course of the past year that these were necessary and important. Uh, one thought uh, is that uh, we've never we've never uh, we've never been able to operate uh, the way that other high performing high poverty school districts operate, and so you hear of them, and they seem unrealistic and they seem untrue. Um, maybe uh, the board could think about uh, some kind of uh, special committee, if you will, for uh, a group of you to actually interact with uh, peers from some of those districts. Uh, Long Beach, for example, has monthly meetings only. Uh, they, Once a month? Mm -hmm. They, uh, they, they have a very set time schedule. Uh, they end uh, uh, within a few hours as well. Um, we've never had something like that. And so for us, it feels like everything we try still hasn't hasn't achieved anything close to being able to finish on time or finish before 1130 or midnight. Um, maybe we can uh, work with uh, uh, partners uh, that were part of the Harvard training, perhaps, uh, oh, that have that's a, a different idea. structure, and just think about ways that we can make some improvements. But I, 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 uh, I, I, I certainly can see member phillips the presentation on reopening was a lot of slides um we, we tried to touch basis uh on as many aspects as i think our community has been asking questions about um and and again we uh, the staff are excited about presenting as well so uh they, they want to provide as much information it is our our, our it is the appropriate venue for us to share but uh, I, I've struggled with this as well because uh, for for four plus years we we we've not been able to crack this one, and so um, right maybe we just need to hear how how others actually do it uh, in a way that we 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 would want to happen we would want to see happen here yeah, yeah and you know we we owe it to our staff to be alert and making a conscious decision like you said um with the work that they put in the, the, they pour their heart and soul into these presentations we owe it to them um yeah i'd like to maybe work with the superintendent on seeing um putting together that committee and having um, a few of you meeting with other board um, boards to bring back recommendations um, because I agree. And that's why I wanted to dig into it a little bit more. I, I totally agree. Um, I can get hard. some information for you too. Okay. Um, I can do a little reach out and um, maybe do a quick, you know, analysis. Yeah, maybe that's something that you can help guide. Yeah, yeah that would be I'll fantastic. Do I'll, I'll do that. Member Garcia. Um, I fully support, um, you know, talking to others to find out how we can better streamline um, our meetings, the number of meetings, the quality of our meetings, um, certainly um, doing that. And I think it goes back to like kind of the cycle that board, um, board member Rhodes talked about, you know, sometimes the information comes in late. I, I understand why sometimes the information comes in late because there's so many layers of, um, you know, um, I don't know, like conversations that need to happen. I mean, many of our, we've been in crisis mode in this district, 
Mm -hmm. since I came on board. We were on the verge of going into receivership. So a lot of the work drives the meetings and it's just this cycle. And yeah, I much rather be at home sleeping. I mean, I'm a night owl, so I can stay up late, but I much rather not be here and be at home doing something else. But um, but we need to like take a step back, I think, and, and really think about how we want to proceed because we've been in crisis not only the fiscal crisis, but now the pandemic, but it's it's not sustainable either, right? Um, just hearing in terms of, um, oh, I just wanted to make sure you were still with us. <laughs> we're not that late. I'm like, oh no, did she do She was serious. Um, but just, just making sure that we find that um, balance um, between like our time and then um, having effective, efficient meetings and also being uh, making sure that we provide the earliest possible time for our community to provide input. Um, um, so, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I'll do and a little I, research. I would be curious to do know. a little research and we'll yeah. put it all together. I'd be curious to know, like, how are other districts doing? I mean, okay. those, those reopening presentations are long and they're very informative. Are they, are they done, done at regular, regular board, board meetings for another district? Are they know, done in a town hall? Yeah, yeah sometimes like, they break yeah, them out. Yeah. 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 So, maybe, maybe so those are things that we'll find out and we can okay. uh, implement. I just, I appreciate the, the dialogue on this because it's been something that's been on my mind. And I know I, I talked to all of you guys. We're all kind of like on that, on that same page of like, wow, these things are like go way too long. So I, we, do we do need to come back to it. Go. I, didn't I didn't talk to you about meeting. I think I've talked to you about how long meetings go. <laughs> I'm sure. okay, okay, I'm gonna call you tomorrow. We're gonna have this discussion. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I am excited about the meetings and I am so that's why I've been more quiet about it because I actually enjoy the meetings a lot but you know <laughs> thank you for Phyllis for throwing that out there yeah so so let me rephrase that I don't reach out to board members and have conversations <laughs> they usually come to me and have conversations <laughs> oh, just, just clarifying yes yes uh, sounds, all right uh, so, so we'll do our research on that one yes. and I'll bring it back uh brown act straightforward continue yes. observe all brown act uh commendations and recognition I don't know if you guys have a place on your agenda for that but some Something I learned at Harvard was one of the districts has monthly rotations where they can um, each board member can, you know, pick something they're proud of. And um, so I don't know if you have a place on your agenda. We for have that. a board reporting period. Okay. Where they can, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't I don't really think then you need that one. Um so, and then the bottom one is too wordy, and I think it's covered by norms, and it's just the agreement of agree to disagree, right? So, um, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I think once I put the governance norms and standards together, that that would probably cover that. And it's, and it's just, just about respectful dialogue, split, split, you know, you know significant, significant issues. Um, so, so I can I can, I can cover, cover that, that in, in um, the other. The other. When, I, when I feel like just the first paragraph, paragraph so, 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 so. okay, okay, and, and I can uh, I can do that. I can do, that. I can do just, just the, the well, that. First, first paragraph. paragraph. And I, and I think the last, last one on that page. page. And that's, and that's where that's, that's where it was. What I was getting at. Oh yeah, maybe the first and the last paragraph. Okay. Cut out that middle piece. Perfect. Okay, okay now, now going, going over, over to, to uh, page, page 12, 12 uh, the, uh, the agenda, agenda development, I think you have a good grasp, grasp on that. On that. Um, um, does, does, is, is, it is it usually the president, president and the vice president? president? No, no, no not, not any longer. No, 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 it's now just, just the president and the superintendent. superintendent. Okay. okay, president, president and superintendent, superintendent. I'll, I'll, I'll change, change that. that. Uh, I'd also, also say, say I, I believe it's... I don't, I don't know. Is this, is this a member, a member of the government's team, employee, employee or, citizen? or citizen? Is that, is that how, 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 how it works? I don't know, I don't know why employees, employees called, called out then, then if, it's if it's broadly available, available but, I but I think it is, is the right, right to, to request, request 
an, an item, item placed, placed on the agenda. agenda. Right. It's, it's not, not a right, a right to, place to place items, items on the agenda. Has the right, right that's that's between, between the court to request. request. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, um, Anne, Collins, is this, is this, um, this section, section good with the board policy, policy that we passed? I'm going to ask uh, Ms. Ms. Hill, Hill to reference the board, board policy yeah. 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 bylaws that were okay. just recently uh, uh, revised by the board. Okay, got Thank you. Okay. okay. Um, anonymous, anonymous information. Um, I think that, that uh, just, just referring people to the complaint, complaint procedure, procedure, but you are a big district, district. So, you so you probably have, have one department that just kind of covers that. Covers that. Um, um, we have, we have our constituent services. Yeah. yeah. So, so would that, would that be under, 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 that? under that? Um, but this, but this is isn't on the constituents. The superintendent, like I sent everything through him, him. And, then and then he, he figures, figures out exactly where they need to go, which, which saves, saves us from having yeah. to okay. Okay. Manage, manage the district. district. Okay, okay. Just, just, just a question, question about that. that. It's, 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 I, I, I guess I don't understand, understand the heading. heading. The non anonymous, anonymous information. information. Um, um, sometimes, sometimes people, people don't, don't want to uh, put, their put their name to complaints, complaints. Um, and, I, and I think that that's, that's what that's, what that's talking, talking about. about. They're afraid, They're afraid um, for, for retaliation. retaliation. Yes. yes. So what, so what is the, the what is the norm, the norm or what is the norm, the norm actually, actually saying, saying that we should, should or the, or the protocol, protocol saying, saying that we do? Request, request that, that person sharing, sharing information, information follow, follow the, the acceptable Sacramento City Unified School, School District, District complaint, complaint procedure. procedure. Usually you have, have that on website. website. Yeah, it's usually a uniform, uniform complaint, complaint procedure, complaint procedure. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 which, which they can fill out. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. All, right. All right. I don't know how that relates, relates to anonymous, anonymous complaints. complaints. I think, I it, think has it has to do with, with the fact that if there's um, an, investigation an investigation or something, they might not actually be able, able to remain anonymous. Because our, I mean, I mean where, where I work, our complaint process is like that. You can complain and it's, and it's supposed, supposed to be anonymous, anonymous but in the, in the course, course of the investigation or whatever goes on, someone, someone may deduce, deduce that, that to you. you. So, so, I mean, that's, I mean, that's kind of what I'm thinking. thinking. But, but, okay. okay. Well, well, depending on the, some people just put stuff together. They put two and two together. Yeah. Yeah. But, I've, I've never, never had anyone say, say I, would like I would like to submit, submit this, this information, information anonymously. anonymously. But if, but if they, they ever did, I'd follow the same path, path the same path, path that we would, that we would follow. follow. But, but I wouldn't be the person informing them, informing them that they might not be able, be able to, to remain anonymous, anonymous either. either. And, sometimes and sometimes that happens as board, board members. I've had it happen to me a lot. A parent, you know, will say, hey, this is happening, but I don't want my name connected to it. So, you know, how do you handle that? I think, I think it's, it's fair to say, say the acceptable, the word acceptable, acceptable because, because which, which is, is in there. there. Okay. Um, because because I, have I have to think, think about like, like what, what, what would be, would be I, don't know, I don't know, like, like some, some uh, an employee complaining about, about another employee, employee with, with at, at, you know, you know I'm, I'm trying, trying to think of something like something serious of gratitude, like like a firearm or you know you know something something of that sense where, where law enforcement would then have to be involved, involved and then there, would there wouldn't be a total degree of anonymous you know, you know what I mean? That's kind of yeah, what I was thinking, like, like and, and kind, of kind of what Miller and, and Phillips was talking, talking about. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. Because then you put the two and two together. together. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. exactly. Or child abuse. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll clarify that. <laughs> right. right. And, and so, so going, going down, down to the next one, the chain of command is just, that's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Complaint, complaint and inquiry, inquiry reporting. reporting. Um, um, so, so I think this, this is addressed on your, on your flow chart. chart. So, so I was, I was gonna, gonna um, um, scratch, scratch that. that. Okay. Um, okay. But, but I wanted to get your opinion on that. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's, it's handled, handled by the yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think so too. Uh, confidentiality is just, just um, talking, um, talking about confidential things need to stay confidential, stay confidential and, and it's, it's important to the health of our organization. organization. Um, you know, you know talking, talking about the Brown, about the Brown Act, Act again. again. 
Produced her straight. Um, um, can we can we add maybe HIPAA in there, there as well? As well. Okay. 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 For Purpa and Hippa? Okay, okay. Got, it. got it. For Purpa and Hippa. Got, got it. Okay. okay. Um, um, personal, personal problem solving. solving. This, this is about, about um, the, the relationship between, between board, board members. members. This, this just says that, that hey, guys, guys we're going to fix our own relationships. relationships. Like, like the, the superintendent, superintendent doesn't need to step into, into our relationships. relationships. Um, um, you, know, you know, if I have a if, if board, board member A has a problem, has a problem with board, board member B, guess, guess what? We're going to go grab a coffee and talk about it and try to get it fixed. Or maybe the board president needs to step in in some situations. But, but that's, that's what, what um, um, that's, that's regarding. regarding. It's just, it's just hard, hard for a superintendent to have to, have to step, step into relationships relationship between board, board members because, because it, never it never ends good for that, good for that superintendent. Well, well, and if that, that were, were his, his boss, boss, not the, the other, other way. way. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, so, um, um, so that's, so that's what, what that one is about. about. Um, um, the, last the last one on this page is pretty straightforward, personal or, or preferential treatment. treatment. We, don't we don't ask for anything, anything special for, for our families or, or um, for ourselves. For ourselves. Okay. okay. And 13, 13, I think, is important. I haven't seen, seen this anywhere, anywhere in your documentation, documentation is, is how do we orient the orientation, the orientation of board, board members. members. So, so this, this just, just kind of goes through uh, what documents that we're going to provide for them on their, on their onboarding, onboarding training. training. And maybe you have a process, but I just didn't see it. See it. No, no. The, the, the process was, was that binder really that I made, made with Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think that this, this to have, to have this process, process is, is it, will it will be good, good for organizations and for any new trustees, trustees that come in. in. Um, and and that's for us to continue to build on this because uh, how you, you onboard, onboard a new trustee, trustee is critical, critical to, to the work, work that we do uh, as, as a district. district. So, so I think, I think starting, starting this process is great and then being able to add on to it as we go and build capacity is even better. Perfect. I'd like to suggest that as we add on, we might contemplate having, having a, a workshop, workshop for, for all prospective trustees oh, yeah. 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 Before, before they run. run. Yeah. But, who, but who would put that on? But you know what? CSBA does it. Really? CSBA, as, as a facilitator, I've done it before. before. So you, so you could put that on. That on. Uh -huh. I remember when I was uh, running, running for office, office, I came in and sat in on a board workshop, workshop similar to this, uh, and kind of heard about uh, actually, actually how it ran. Like that. We don't have a formal, formal way, to way to do that, that mm -hmm. but there's, there's, there's ways for people, for people to listen in. But, but it'd be cool, cool to have a formal way as, as we build out. Maybe, maybe, maybe not currently, but as we build out. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a great idea. idea. And I've done that for districts before. And here's the deal, guys. Sometimes when people really see what we do as they don't change their mind, you know, and ready for the board. So then they find out how much we get paid. <laughs> well, it's definitely not what you thought. Um, so can we add in there also the review board. of the new board member? I don't even know what it's called. Binder. Okay. Um, review uh, board member binder. New new board member um, onboarding binder. Okay. I also want to add the um, like professional development through CSBA. Okay. Um, it's I feel like it's missing. It's reviewing a lot of CSBA you know, uh, documentation, you know, government okay. standards, et cetera. Yeah. But um, they it often coincides with a conference. And I think yes. that's, that is really helpful. Okay. Um, so. Big okay. training is beyond that. Though. Pardon? Big training is beyond the conference. Beyond. I, I think big training is also uh, key to um, providing um, good service. Okay. Right. I think so MIG training should be mandatory. mandatory. <laughs> well, hopefully, um, yeah. I, I, I completed that last year yeah. and it was, um, it was, it was great. So, um, but yes, yeah, okay. so it, it, it starts with the conference, which usually okay. happens right after this yeah. one, the, the December in, 2nd. And then the, the cross, the MIG training. Okay. And I will add new that. board, the new board member orientation. Yeah. New board the member. Yeah. Orientation. The, the one day. 
the new board members don't come on until after. after. <laughs> yeah, but always we complained we about that with CSBA. <laughs> we still went before, Sorry, can you before we were sworn okay. in. We went to the conference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Above my like a week or two before. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, but it's, but it's important. important. Okay. But they know that they're elected at that point. Yeah. 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 It was so, after no, it was after no, the election. Yeah. It's board member on there. Yeah. Like I, I didn't go my first year because I didn't know that it was, that I was eligible to right. attend until and I actually started and then it had passed. I wasn't able to go until the following year and had been on the board for a year. So that that's, point. yeah. Our, so we have to be proactive. Our staff has to be proactive in reaching out. Right. I'm so excited that our conference is going to be in person this year. Yay. That'll be awesome. In San Diego. Yeah, in San Diego. Yes. Yes. All right. So then uh, going down to superintendent evaluation just says you're going to do one every year and abide by the contract terms. Um, board meeting management. We understand and agree that board meetings are the meeting of the board in public, not open forum town halls, not saying that you don't have open forum town halls. But they're, but they're, diff they're, they're different. Uh, um, we'll keep in mind as we conduct our meetings, allowing the public to provide input at the time allotted to ensure that multiple voices of the community are heard. Um, so that's pretty sta straightforward, too. Is there a difference in um, how you do it here in your district than as it's described here? No. Okay. I, I think we're fine, but I do just want to point out just... I'm probably preaching the choir, but that is the reason why we don't respond usually to public yes. comment because of that. And it's a violation of the Brown Act sometimes because what they're talking about isn't it's on not the agenda. agendized, right. right? Exactly. So we can get ourselves in trouble. But I know it's it's frustrating for community members because they ask the question they want an answer, right? And then we all just kind of sit there. And it's really hard for new board yeah, members. Yeah, I, I, I'm like, okay. <laughs> Let's move on. But I do think it's a good, you know, I know you've said that before, is you know, maybe even just saying reach out to your trustee. Yeah. I do think it's important still for you to email me your concern Absolutely. versus just we don't get to respond. Yep. yep. I'd rather give you the answer than you go to bed frustrated that right. evening. Yeah, and I, and I know when we had you know live board meetings, if um you know we had someone that came up and had you know problems at a school site or problems within a community or um and you knew that was your area that they were speaking about, I would just walk off the dais and get that person my business card and say, please reach out to me yeah. tomorrow so we can have a discussion. That way, it's, it's not a conversation from the dais, and it's not left hanging, right? Um, yeah, yeah, we we absolutely don't want to do that, but it does. I don't know if um everybody understands that it's not a meeting a public meeting yes. and then <laughs> so now going down to managing difficult topics it's kind of related to that um making sure that um the debate only happens um between board members um you know my last few meetings have been very challenging that way so um, <laughs> um so that's what that one is about. And the chair uh, may respond to public comment, but only if warranted. So, um, and, and some people scratch that, um, some people leave, leave it in. So whatever your preference is. Um, I think it's okay. How do you feel? About the only if, only if it's only if it's warranted. If it's a big... Yeah. yeah, like if it, if it's gotten out of hand or yeah, yeah. I just think we just need to be careful about that. Yeah, we should treat everyone fairly. Always, but if always. somebody's like saying careful, disinformation yeah. or like right, um, if it's something that we should address, then it's fine. Okay. Yes. All right, and then but it could be a response of saying like, reach out, please reach out to your board member. What was that, Member Phillips? Oh, so I'm just hoping that. You know, when we talk about this, it, I, I really keep thinking about the head nodding. We, we nod our heads a lot. <laughs> hey, and that's important, right? Yeah. That's important, like, to watch your manner. Because uh, even have casual conversations with, um, you know, um, constituents in the grocery store, and you're going like well, this. And I think that's sudden, hard, because I think when I'm really concentrating, yeah. like, I, I find do myself too. doing I do that too. of, like, because it's... <laughs> But yeah, 
Yeah. So, so watch our body uh, language. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but it, uh, I know it was really helpful for me my first year on the board of um, going back and rewatching board meetings yes. and watching your mannerisms because I don't know if you've ever noticed, but I talk a lot with my hands. And I've learned over the years of like, I remember my first year on the board of just like, you know. <laughs> Is she doing sign language? Yeah, seriously, it was bad. So I don't, I like, you know, now I've, I've had to pick up tips and tricks of like holding a pen in my hand. Or, right? exactly. so, something of that sort. So yeah, I, I highly recommend doing that. So we're at our last one um, and it's just about board notification. The superintendent will inform the board of pertinent activities of the district. If it's likely to be in the newspaper, the board should know about it. The superintendent will use email and or text to communicate routine matters to the board on a regular basis. During crisis situations, the superintendent will send out an email alert and then attempt to reach board members via telephone beginning with the board president. Is that how how it is? Um, Superintendent, is it? It's not starting with the board presence. Usually, with the board member that's affected, that's in that area, correct? In the trustee area. In the yeah, trustee area. I would say typically that's how we've managed it. Okay. Um, we try to contact the board member that is, is in that area that represents the area where something has occurred or something okay. um, will likely occur. And then would you reach out to the all the board after that via email? Yeah. Okay. email. And usually he lets the board president know just in case there's media okay. concerns. Yeah. Got it. Or I, I mean, a lot of times I'll call board members and I'll say, you know, before a BC goes out, I need you to know because it, it's in your area. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's it. The last page is the signature page, and you do that at an open board meeting. Well, guys, I got my work cut out for me. <laughs> yes, you do. We but, appreciate you. But I think this is great work. I'm glad you had me back. I love working with you guys. Um, feels like family. So um, I will get to work on this, and um, I'll be talking to Anne about some of the uh, protocols and matching them with the board policies. So I'll get with you, Anne, before I send it off to the district. So um, any other comments or questions or clarifications? No, no, thank you, Terry, for oh, thank your you commitment to our so board and super happy to do this. 10 15. I know. <laughs> uh, before we adjourn, do we have our public comments back? We have Mo Kashmiri listed online. Okay. okay, thank you. Mo, go ahead. <laughs> Mo, you are muted. Are you able to unmute yourself? Can you send one of us a text message if you can hear us to let us know what's happening on your end? No. Okay. Sorry, Mo. Um, I don't know if it's on our end or or on your end. Um, we apologize, but um, uh, we um, we will see you next Thursday. Um, with that, can I get a motion to so moved? And our students not here, so I can't ask her. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All right, we are adjourned.